And ladies and gentlemen, we are live again. You can see us this time. We're interactive. What else do you want from us, huh? This is the Hot Tag Podcast. It is Tuesday night. It is 8.05. We are on time. Usually we're early. You know, we're, we're doing... We're great, man. We're, uh, you know, we're responsible. We're professional. And uh, yours truly, Shaheen, my co-host... The man you see on my screen, go ahead and introduce yourself, my man. That's me. I'm Box Man. Call That's me David. Guy. Call me Box. I don't care. This guy. This guy. Just call me uh, this guy. I don't care. Yeah, there you go. But uh, yeah, you have tuned into a wrestling podcast. We're going to be reviewing Raw. We're going to talk about maybe some Lucha. Eh, I don't know. I haven't really been watching it lately. But uh, we're just going to talk about some random shit, man. We're going to have a good time. It's almost Christmas. You know, this is going to be a special edition. Usually we're in a rush to get out of here. And uh, because obviously we have to work the, the, the following day. Uh, we both have off. So if it goes good, maybe it'll be a little bit longer. If it goes boring, then we'll just get the hell out of here. It is what it is. Is what it is. Let me shut off the music here, even though no one can hear it, since we're on a different input. There we go. Okay. There we go. There we go. And forgot it was on. Let's go ahead and get our plugs out of the way. You can join us on Facebook, www.facebook.com slash groups slash THT Podcast. Join us on iTunes, THT Wrestling Podcast. Uh, join us on YouTube, THT Wrestling, or Turnbuckle Corner. Um, what else we got? Twitter, THT Wrestling. Or a THC podcast, I believe, actually. Shit, I don't even know our own fucking Twitter handle, but... Eh! It's... You know. um, hold on. It is. It, I, I know what it is. It is it's it is THC podcast. And uh, what else we got? I think that's about it. Hopefully we'll be on Stitcher sometime soon. You can probably join us on there in a couple weeks. But until then, YouTube and iTunes. THC Wrestling Podcast. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, yeah. hot tag podcast dot weebly dot com. You can get all the links, all the information, all the episodes. And my main man, Boxman, has it set up in a way where you can click one goddamn button and you can listen to it live. That's it. You don't it. have to copy and paste. You don't have to do any of that. Click one click. You are here. Yep. No oh. down. Unless you want to download it, put it on your desktop. But if you don't, you click our list live. If we are live, that will start playing the second. It's up. Unbelievable. On yes. What else do you guys want from us? It hasn't even been a year, and, and we got you know some some phenomenal technology going on. One click away from the hot tag world. What else do you want? Huh? Not much, right? Lud. Want lud. We all want blood. Hopefully we'll get into uh, 45 minutes of uh, blade jobs tonight. Audio blade jobs, maybe. I don't know. But Ooh. I guess let's, let's, let's go ahead and get into uh, Raw right away and get that shit out the way because uh, it's probably going to be the worst part of the night. Uh, I'm not even sure how long it's going to take to go through Raw because I, I, I don't know, man. To me, it was, it was such a long show. Well... I'll tell you what, it put me to sleep at 9 p.m., and uh, for anybody that knows me in, in real life, I legit have, like, insomnia problems, mm -hmm. so I may have found the cure without any kind of medicine, uh, so thank you, Raw. Um, I woke up at 2.30 a.m. And, and watched what I missed, and yeah, and I, I, I quickly realized that I didn't miss much. And I probably just could have skipped it mm -hmm. and, and, and pretended like I knew what I was talking about and, and got away with it because it was that bad. But there was three matches that I enjoyed. The rest of it was kind of meh. It was, it was filler for the most part. But it wasn't as bad as, you know, most people say it is, I guess. In my uh, opinion. Uh, I've definitely seen worse shows, but I, it, was, it just dragged on and on with the stupidity, I guess it was. Yeah. There was a lot of filler, man. I mean, just wait till next week. I don't know. I mean, I guess you can say, oh, it was kind of a holiday show, so 
this is what you get, but I don't know, man. It just didn't seem, I don't know, it seemed really quickly, like a quickly thrown together show, or all the fucking writers are on vacation. Well, I'll tell you what, I think it was better than uh, the previous week and, and, and the week before that. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't know, man. It's just the same old sh- This guy froze up on me for a second. What happened to you? You're freezing up on me, man. I locked up, man. I don't have a, a new Mac computer. He's back with us. By the way, I do have a new Mac computer, so I am happy. Awesome Christmas. There you but, go. Uh, that for, the, for the folks listening, um, let me know how the, how the sound is, is, if it's any better, worse, because we have a, not a new setup, but I'm sitting in a different area than usual, new computer. Um, he's sitting at home, so it's, it's, it's a different connection for him as well. Let us know how we sound so we can, uh, you know, kind of know where we go from here. We got a couple people in the chat room, and they haven't said, damn it, Box, we can't hear you again. So that's a good sign. Oh, is that is that usually the, the thing they tell you? Yeah. That's usually. A thing. Can't that's hear fucking Box. That's usually what I see. But no, looks like we're doing good. God damn it. All right. <laughs> no complaining. I'm good. All I know is I'm happy sitting here on my couch. Yeah. Yeah, this is a comfortable setup for me as well, so. I'm hopefully loving it. this. Yeah, hopefully this works. This works, so we can, you know, be in our. Well, I'm always, I'm always at home, so I shouldn't really be complaining. I really can't say much. I'm sitting about five feet away from my, where I usually do it. So. Yeah, I got a. I, 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 I'm the one that does the driving, but. Uh, yeah. Easier, quieter, and. Sounds fine. See, that's what I. That's what they just said. Sounds fine. Not good. Not great. But fine. That's perfect. Well, that's not good. Oh. We don't. We don't. We don't want just fine. Better than sounds like shit. And we're fucking great, man. All right, whatever you say, man. It's forced, dude. We're fucking great. Come on. Uh, yeah, I mean we're fucking. Uh, come on, bro. We, we sound great. We're fucking awesome. Look at like uh, fucking awesome. I mean, I do have a professional mic, and I actually I actually bought a mic stand. Yeah. I'm man. Actually- I'm actually not using the uh, desktop lamp anymore with zip ties. Yeah, I, I also have a mic stand and a microphone, man. If I can hook that thing up, uh, which I should be able to since it's just a USB, I probably should do that. It's just collecting dust over there. Oh, if it's just a USB, definitely. Yeah, you should hook it up. Yeah, I just I wonder if I need any kind of programming or anything for it. Actually, I have to find the USB because it's not a regular USB. But uh, Really? Yeah, I'll make it happen. Uh, yeah, mine. I you should see mine. Mine's a actual mic cord I have plugged into an audio interface and then hooked up to USB. Nice. So yeah, but that's because no one could fucking hear me before. Now look at now listen. For the viewers right now, listen to me now. Listen to me now. Yeah. 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 But uh, look! Look at this beautiful high definition. You can see my head glossing. You see this greatness? Do you see this? <laughs> Is this? God didn't. God didn't bless me with much hair, but at least he he blessed me with a nice round head. Oh, they said the show needs more bro, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Barry Harrow, bro, bro. It's uh, pat on the back. We gotta get back into doing bro again, <laughs> dude. I'm not lying. I just looked at the chat room. They were broing it up like 20, 30 minutes after we left. Is that, that going to be the new gimmick? <laughs> Every week we're just broing it out all the time. Uh, us making fun of Vince Russo. God damn it, bro. Poor Vince Russo. Vince Barroso. Ah, oh, man. I can't, I'm not really into his podcast, man. I can't really get into it. He had a really good interview with King Kong Bundy. Um, I did enjoy that one. King Kong Bundy seems really bitter. He just seems like a like an angry dick. He no, seems – if you follow his Twitter, he's a funny fucking guy. King Kong Bundy has a Twitter? Oh, yeah. P- please share this with me. I need this in my life. Oh, now I got to find it? You're going to make me look? Oh, yeah. Well, you can do it later, man. You don't have to – we don't have to pause the show for King Kong Bundy uh, Twitter. Twitter. I can talk. Uh, excuse me? Nice. But uh, – fucking. 
Do you remember when King Kong Bundy was doing an auction where uh, for a couple hundred dollars he would, if you lived in New Jersey, that is, or the tri-state, tri-state area, I guess, he would come to your house and he would watch Raw with you for a couple hundred dollars. I do remember that. <laughs> I'm so fascinated by that, man. Who, who would pay for that? Somebody. No offense to King Kong Bundy, man. I am a big fan of, of, of the big guys. King Kong Bundy, man. Fucking Bam Bam Bigelow, Andre the Giant, all, all the big guys, Abdul the Butcher, all the big guys. But no offense, man, I just, it's just weird. I think it'd be very awkward. And uh, although he yeah. seems like he's down to earth, I guess it wouldn't be as awkward as some other people. But yeah, I just, he, I don't know, I just find it very weird. Just I enjoy mean, King Kong going to your house for Raw. He's a stand up comic, too, though. Is he really? King Kong Bundy at. Real KK Bundy dot uh, on Twitter. Real KK Bundy. Man, you're scared. Uh, you're going to say KKK. I was going to say, oh. Sh-. The legendary King Kong Bundy, WrestleMania headliner and stand up comedian, also has a Facebook page. Well, this is annoying. What? The new Mac. Uh, I don't have the, like, the, the fucking Facebook shit on there and Twitter and all that. I was trying to add it on now, but I can't. So. Break out your phone. Add it on your phone. Nah, it's too annoying. It's all the way over there. I don't want to. I'll have to rewind I'm the show and catch the catch the plug. It's all right. I'll catch it later. Phone. There you go. Makes it easier. There we go. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway. So, are we going to talk about raw? I guess, man. I don't really want to. Know. That we were gonna do. I'd rather just do audio blade drops all the time, dude. Just make this a bloodbath podcast. Just talk about just straight blade jobs all the time. I'd like to change the name bloodbath. Bloodbath podcast. <laughs> gonna get a bunch of vampire fans. You can get Balls Mahoney to come on, probably. He, he loves bathing in, in blood and sucking blood out of other chicks and all this weird shit. Yeah. Do you remember when he went on In Your Head and he had this whole thing with New Jack and, and New Jack accused him of like uh, I don't know what he did with the girl they 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 were drinking each other's blood and they smeared it all over the hotel room and the the promoter that you know you know gave him the advance money at the at the pay out of his pot I don't know a bunch of crazy shit but he's I guess he's a legit vampire if there is such thing he's into that so I just remember he. He went, I'm going to go to cocaine and take care of my kid. I do remember that. Yeah, that was, that was very awkward. Yeah. That was, uh, yeah, that was kind of weird. But, um, yeah, it was, uh, yeah, Bloodbath. That could be a good name. That could be a spinoff to this show, maybe. There you go, man. Bloodbath Podcast. Do a spinoff. Welcome to the Bloodbath Podcast. Just Where we bathe we bathe in our own blood, dude. No, it's kind of gross. Yeah, I mean, uh, fucking... I don't know what podcast we're talking about, it, but Jimmy Jacobs, I, I remember actually this thing where uh, he, like, supposedly, like, like bathed in uh, Jay Briscoe's blood. They had a thing where they, where Jay Briscoe was bleeding, and they hung him from the ceiling, and, like, Jimmy Jacobs just, like, sat underneath him and just, just caught all the blood. It's like, oh, man, why would you do that? Not That's... for wrestling. I'm sorry, man. I don't want to. I don't want to catch hepatitis C for a wrestling angle. But I, yeah. I believe it never aired because it was so fucking nasty. But... Yeah, then you got to go to like Mexico or something and get it cured. Fuck that. Yeah, I guess I. I wouldn't uh, recommend that. You recommend? Um, it looks like that? a lot. I. I don't know. So who got? Didn't Devin Nichols? Um, Nicholson. He's, Nicholson Wright, who's uh, Hannibal, didn't he go to like Germany or something and got the cure? Well, I'm not he sure. did get the cure. Yeah, I know well, he did. Uh, Sean Waltman. Yeah, Sean Waltman actually said that he got it. Sean Waltman's waiting for it to come to the U.S., but uh, he said Wait, he, Hannibal. He has it also. Yeah, that's why he can't wrestle. Wow. Yeah. What the fuck? He, He's had it for a while, I think. Jesus, man. How many... There's a bunch of wrestlers that have it. 
There are. I, um, doesn't uh, uh, Nigel McGinnis have it? I'm I'm not sure. I think that's no. I think his concussions caused him not to wrestle, but I think he might have also had Hep C. That's nasty. Pamela Anderson has it. Really? <laughs> that has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> Don't she really do? Yeah, I'd still tap it. <laughs> I wouldn't care. <laughs> oh, man, I, I wouldn't. Hey, you just wrap it. Yeah, but still, I just it's just gross. Yeah, it probably the would thought, be. The Whatever. thought would just ruin yeah. it for me anyway. Piece you pass up is a piece you don't know. That's you what I heard once. You going in and out a little bit. It's not, it's not too bad, but keep going in and Let out. Let me scoop here, let me move a little closer to the microphone. See if that helps at all. The microphone. Let's see if that the helps. Microphone. I don't know. Let's see. The mic. That should help. Yeah. Just, just don't eat it. No, I can't. I have a, this little screen on there. Sure. Yeah, I put my little screen on there so my P's don't pop and my S's don't whistle. Nice. At least you won't sound like fucking Swagger. Bruh. <laughs> no. Swagger. You mean Jack Swagger? Yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hi, my name is Jack Swagger. I'm, I'm clicking to Sylvester the cat. <laughs> I thought I'd call a putty cat. <laughs> He's terrible, man. Where is he? What is he doing? Let that guy go. He's better known. Oh. He's better off going somewhere else. TNA. Is that. No. No. They will. I don't know, man. I, 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 speaking of TNA, they just announced a third, third show for this new network they're on. You, uh, I'm, I'm not sure what I think of this. Oh, God. Uh, this one supposedly is at 10 a.m. in the morning. Oh, nice. Wake up to TNA. Fantastic. Wow. I mean, let's yep. face it. With you know, our times don't matter anymore. Yeah, but I'm I'm sure so many families are just looking forward to waking up to TNA. Oh, well, I don't know. Yep. I'm not here, but yeah, that's uh, they have gotten they have three new shows so far, well, in, in three including including Impact. So I'm kind of curious, man. I'm pretty curious to see what they're going to do. Well, from my understanding, one of them is, is just like a best of show. Right. Where, uh, one week, they'll, they'll, you know, their main focus is going to be like, you know, Rob Van Dam. One week is going to be AJ Styles and so forth, which I don't really, I don't know how long it's going to last because, let's face it, how many do they have, you know I mean? Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I'm. I, it says it's a best of. Actually, it says it's a recap show of Impact, but there's going to be matches and never before seen footage. So I guess it's just like a behind the scenes look at Impact. With I guess it's just like kind. Of, I, basically, I guess it's explosion in the U.S. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm looking forward to this one. I don't. Know. I'm gonna have to see how it all plays out. I guess. Well, I, I'll check them all out the first couple weeks and see how they all go. But um, I'll tell you what, man. I'm 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 interested to see what 2015 is gonna do because there's a lot of wrestling coming to the U.S. The wrestling boom is here. It. I don't know. I wouldn't. Ah, well, maybe Jeff Jarrett was right. But dude, there's no. I mean, I I kind of see what he means because there's a lot of you know upcoming promotions because let's face I mean New Japan is not new of course you know they've been around what 40 years or whatever but I mean it's never really been in the states so that's one we got Lucha Underground you know ROH has been around for a while but you know they're, they're, they're still active they just got on pay-per-view so I guess you know that makes them a little bit more active in, in the public eye so that's three and then we got Global Force coming out so that's four and uh, you know with NXT and WWE you got five or six, or you know, even maybe some more uh, promotions that are out there. Basically, wrestling on every night. So, and kinda, yeah, it kind of is a wrestling boom. But you know, when you look at the ratings, there's not much demand for it. It's just a lot of shows. 
and you're missing the f- and you're missing one. Oh, TNA. I'm sorry. No, Vince Russo is taking over a wrestling promotion, from what I hear. And yeah, but it's in, it's in Europe, isn't it? I think it's in London. Now that doesn't mean he. I mean, Vince will try to get it to the U.S. Let's not fool ourselves. I know he's going to try. Um, I don't know. I'm actually. I, I'm looking for the article right now. I post. Yeah, it, it is. It is long, and I remember seeing it. But it, yeah, uh, it's, so. I know Pro Wrestling Syndicate it just got a t- local TV deal. Uh, on a, on a New York channel, so yeah, I, I won't be able to get it, but I'm definitely happy for them. Uh, PWS Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Um, actually, Tolly Blanchard was a uh, teaching because you know Pro Wrestling Syndicate they have they have a wrestling school. So uh, Tolly Blanchard he was he was booked for their show on Saturday, and uh, I guess he he did a couple nice drop kicks and he and he he hurt himself. So you know, best wishes to him. I did read Tully got hurt. I wasn't sure what show he was at, but yeah, let's see, let's see. Official, let's see. Vince Russo officially of on January first. So in a executive power, it is. It's it's in the UK. All right. I'm trying to find the name of the company. United yeah, Kingdom. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm if I'm really interested in it. IPW, and it looks like they've already got Nick Dinsmore. Who? Nick Dinsmore. Who the hell is that? Huh. You keep Drew Galloway. That. I'm sorry, man. I'm not doing anything different, so I don't know why I'm tuning out. They got Nick Dinsmore. Used to be Eugene in WWE. Oh, the the... Mentally challenged guy. Well, yeah, that was. Oh, his character. I mean the gimmick, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you got it, you got it, you're right. And then you said Drew Galloway. Yeah, they said they they mentioned Drew Galloway and Samoa Joe had been there before, so I don't know. I guess we'll have to see Vince Russo back in the back in the wrestling business again. Yeah, I mean, hey, it could be good. Who knows? Um. Yeah, I guess it could be. <laughs> Again, who knows? I, I, I don't know. Anything is possible. Yeah. Anything is a possible task. I don't know. I'm going to switch my laptop so I don't have to look away from the microphone. There we go. Maybe that will keep me in uh, not cutting out so much. There we go. Okay. Do you want to get all the news out of the way since we're kind of talking about it? Get all the news out of the way, I guess. All right, let's go for it. Let's do this. Let's news. 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 Bad news, Brown. I love bad news, Brown. By the way, I do too. But uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what they're gonna do with him. Um, he's, he's passed away. What? Bad news, Brown. Not oh. not bad. Sorry. Bad news, bear. I'm sorry. I <laughs> you said news and I started typing. Yeah, he caught me off guard for some. What are they gonna do with him? No, I don't think they're gonna do much with him. Maybe put him in the Hall of Fame. I don't know. <laughs> uh, let's see. WWE already no CM Punk policy. Um, what? No CM Punk policy with WWE. They don't want signs. They don't want chanting. And you can be ejected for wearing a shirt, having a sign, chanting his name. Wait, hold on one second. So you're telling me that if I purchase a a T-shirt from from WWE, like let's say the last two weeks since they actually had CM Punk shirts, they would eject me from the show for wearing the shit that they sold me. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Well, first of all, they're not selling any more CM Punk merchandise. Well, right? uh, that's what I said. The, the shit they sold me two weeks ago. Okay. I'm going to read this, and this is Credit WrestleZone. Uh, WWE currently sticking to a no CM Punk policy at live events, including the January 31st event in Canada and the December 26th event at Madison Square Garden. Security staff at both venues claim WWE won't let fans wear punk merchandise or carry punk signs. If they do, 
They'll be asked to remove their signs, change their clothes, or leave the venue. During last night's Raw in Minnesota, at least five fans were kicked out for violating the policy. Guards could be seen taking several punk signs. All right, that's just... Oh, my God, man. WWE always... They never fail to disappoint me with stuff like this. I think this is... Um... I think this is bullshit. Um, this is absolute horseshit. Yeah, people pay to go see this. They pay good money, a lot of money. Let's not be fucking, you know, fucking around here. Tickets aren't cheap to a wrestling event anymore. Um, and they should be able to do say and whatever they want. I mean, no one in the, you know, we got a bunch of people here on the, I quoted on it, and no one here said this is a good thing. You know, people are all saying, you know, stupid, you know, ridiculous. They're all morons at Titan Tower. And no one here said, hey, what a good idea. Yeah. I'm not so sure it violates freedom of speech because you are paying to go an event. And if you do that, I think you kind of, I don't know, you're, you're, uh, in in buying a ticket to something, you're agreeing to their rules, if I'm not mistaken. Right, but I'll, I'll tell you one thing. Uh, it does violate common sense. Yes. You sell me something. Let's say you sold me... A, like I said, you, they, they'll sell you a CM Punk shirt two weeks ago, and they'll gladly take your money, but they'll eject you from the show and take your money again for wearing the shit they just sold you. That's crazy. You there? I am here. That's crazy. Thanks for the pause, because let that sink in for a minute. That's fucking crazy. That makes no sense. You are right now also. Yeah. Yeah, you just kind uh, of... Kind of yeah, but uh, I, I don't know, dude. It's It, it boggles my mind. I yeah. don't fucking get it. It's pretty shitty to do, if you ask me. Absolutely. So no more CM Punk and WWE, just as I uh, suspected. I guess not. I mean, we've been, we've been saying we don't expect him to come back for a long time now, so... Yeah, he's not coming back. Did you see that, that clip with uh, CM Punk on... Uh, I forgot the guy's uh, name. Uh, do you know who I'm talking about? He, he was doing the... Uh, uh, all, off the record. Oh yeah, I did. What I did. was his name? Was it Lance something? Landsberg, I think. Hold on. You, you, there you, you go. It is. Yeah. Man, did you see that clip with him, with with CM Punk? I did. I did. I think. Um, I think Punk was right in saying it. I don't know. I, I also heard the whole interview. Um, the guy really didn't have many questions for him, number one, and he was kind of being condescending a little bit. But he always is. That is kind of like his, his gimmick. He is kind of a smartass. He... Yeah. But I don't know, man. I, 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 I like that Punk called him out on his own show. I mean, what are you going to do, really? But uh, most people would have just taken it and shut the fuck up. But I like that Punk called him out. I thought it was awesome. Well, I'll tell you what I don't like. I don't like the fact that a lot of people are, you know, saying that, that Punk isn't a good husband and he's not a real man for for letting his wife work at the WWE when, you know, their uh, their fucking wellness policy and 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 you know misdiagnosing his his fucking uh, MRSA and all that shit almost killed him. Like, dude, she's a grown woman. You know, she her it, it, she's not one of those girls that was a model and got into wrestling and and wants to be a model again and you know has that path that she can always go back to. She's clearly been a wrestling fan her whole life. You can see pictures of her when she was like 11, 12 with Leah. I mean, it's her dream to do this. She wants to do it. So just, you know, let them live their fucking lives, man. I just, I don't get it. Like, wrestling fans just, uh, I don't know, man. They, they, they feel, you know, entitled to just everything, pretty much. They, they, you know, like people saying, you know, I bought his house for, for buying his shirt. That, that's ridiculous, man. All that type of shit, just, just, 
you know, is, is honestly embarrassing, you know, for the, for the wrestling community, if you want to call it that. Yeah, I like that he kind of brought that up. Um, he did bring that up on the second uh, Cabana podcast, if you listened. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, he did. And, you know, he basically said, no, no, you didn't. He said, I saved my money. That's, right. that, you know, that, and, and that's it. Listen, a lot of wrestlers out there, if that was true, should have a lot more than they've got. But a lot of them are broke, a lot of these old school wrestlers. And they were getting paid pretty good back then. Listen to them, all those guys talk. Those, oh, man, I was making this much back then and this much. And, you know, even King Kong Bundy said he got a check for like 25 grand. You know, right. back then, that was a lot of money, dude. Right. Back then, 25 grand might have got you a house. I don't know. <laughs> I mean... Depending on where you're at, I guess. Exactly, so... I don't, yeah, I just, I, I don't get it, dude. That's like that's like going to Hulk Hogan's restaurant and just, just eating, you know, your meal and, and refusing to pay because you, you claim that, you know, you bought uh, three Hulk Hogan action figures in, in 91, so he technically owes you something. You know, like, it's, like, fucking ridiculous, man. Like, come on, dude. Is it... He's doing his job. You chose to, to buy his merchandise. You're not entitled to anything, especially yeah. his personal relationship and whether he's a good husband and all. Like, why do you even care? Yeah, I know, man. I, I don't know. I, fucking what? Yeah, you owe me dinner because I you you bought my three fucking action figures back in the 90s? Good for exactly. you. Exactly. Well, I, I bought an NWO shirt. In 96, dude, you owe me fucking 20 bucks. I put that in your pocket. Like, come on, man. It's... Yeah. Trust me, I'm sure the company got more money than he did. I'm sure they did. I'm, I'm sure. sure they did. Well, it was WCW, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, that is true. WCW. Hogan probably got all the money. Let me stop myself right there. There you go. <laughs> Yeah, let me just stop myself. Maybe they were. Maybe Hogan did get more of that money. I mean, the way that he, I don't know. According to the, a lot of people, his contract was pretty crazy. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> a lot of people have said that. I'd love to get a hold of that contract. Yeah. I really would. I'd love to see it. But uh, any other news? Have you heard of anything recently? I'm checking my phone to see if there's any news. I don't it's know. been kind of dry. Not much is going on this time of the year. Yeah, it looks like uh, Alberto Del Rio is in talks with Bellator a little bit. Um, I kind of expected that. Right. With Punk going to um, UFC, I sort of expected them to try to get somebody. I really thought they would try to get Brock, and they still may. Um, you know, it's still uh, still too early to tell. Yeah, I just uh, yeah, actually, I heard him on the MLW podcast uh, with Conan, and uh, he was talking about how, you know, obviously he's working for Ring of Honor pretty soon, and uh, he was talking about how he might sign with uh, Lucha Underground next year, and I guess Bellator now. So the guy's got a lot going on. So this just goes to show you that you know if you're Somewhat of a name in the WWE, and you know, might be better off just leaving. Yeah, exactly. But uh, I mean, I don't know. And 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 you know what? He was a name that people complained about for a long time. Oh, he sucks. He's boring. Hey, I think he sucked and he was boring too. But I don't know, man. I it's it's like they leave and they get this whole new breath of fresh air. And I mean, Drew McIntyre. Look at him. Yeah. Same thing. Alberto, same thing. Punk. Look what Punk's done since he left. Punk and Alberto Del Rio have been the talk of fucking the internet for the past two weeks. Dude, you should have heard the pop that uh, Alberto Del Rio got at House of Hardcore. I'll bet. I, I don't know. insane. But I'll, I'll tell you what, though, man. He was always great in the ring. You can't take that away from him. His matches with uh, Dolph Ziggler, I mean, they, you know, they were awesome. I liked when he showed the aggressive style he had instead of, you know, going out there. I hated when he was a babyface and he was just doing this complete WWE babyface style wrestling and, 
Yeah, that sucked. I liked him as a heel coming out and, you know, kicking the shit out of people, but I don't know, man. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I need a beer. There you go, man. It's almost Christmas. Do what you got to do. Hey, open the cooler. There we go. There we go. Pop the top on a Coors Light. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. Sip a beer for the working man. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, we got Steve Austin on the podcast. If he ever listens to this podcast, we're going to be in trouble. <laughs> no, we wouldn't. Nobody gives a shit, man. He'd love it. Is that supposed to be sexy? Oh, sorry, Steve. <laughs> what kind of sound bite is that? <laughs> when the hell would we ever use that one on the show? <laughs> we haven't, but it's been down there in the bank, number 28, for a while. <laughs> it should be more like number 75. No, I can't. I don't want that many in there. I'll, I'll miss them. That's, I, I've got more. I mean, you know, I've got a few in here. There you go, man. Got a few left in a holster. I don't think I have any more Stone Cold. I think those are the only two I had. <laughs> oh, wait. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. There we go. One more. One more for the working man. Oh, man. Uh, oh, hell yeah. I don't have anything else. <laughs> That's the only three I got. Uh, I, think, I think I've had my dose of Austin for the night. Already? I'm Sorry, Austin. Oh my god. <laughs> Was that really him in that video? Doing the karaoke? I don't know who. Well, Ralph... Steve Austin. Oh, I don't. Doing to, um. To that song that you just played. I thought that's why you were playing it. Is is that what he was doing it? No, I thought he was doing it to um Rick Astley's song. Yeah, I don't know. Man. I thought he was doing it to uh never gonna uh, uh that's, that's... that song never gonna give you up. Never oh gonna... yeah, you're right, you're right. Astley, yeah, the guy who everyone didn't know was white for about five years. Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Yeah, yeah, I just remember it was never gonna something. Yeah, I remember that. That was funny. That was funny. I didn't. I didn't think it was him for a while. He was lip syncing. I don't even think he was singing. No, I know. I know he wasn't singing. But I'm saying I didn't. I didn't think it was him. I thought it was some somebody you know that just looked like him. No, that was him. Yeah, it was him. He even said he even he he even said on his podcast he put that fucker out. That was funny, dude. So Cold's a funny man. Yeah, he's a good guy. Good man. He is. He's funny. I, he's, I mean, what are you going to do? The guy, he's a bit of a company shill, but that company gave him a lot. And I, I, I don't even know if he is, though. I mean, uh, he can't. He, he didn't hold any punches back on his podcast with uh, Vinnie McMahon. He does. He is to an extent. You know, they like you said, they helped him out a lot, but they I don't do. think he's, a, he's, he's not in the ass kissing club. Nah, uh, not. There's some things that he's like, oh, I loved this, and I'm like, Stone Cold, there ain't no way you loved it. After what I've heard you say on this podcast, you're lying. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't listen to this podcast as much as you do, so I guess you're more. Well, I've been driving a, a fucking truck for the past three weeks, so I've listened to a lot of podcasts. That's understood. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I rarely uh, listen to the podcast. Yeah, that's that's how I've listened to all these podcasts lately. I've been driving a truck, so... There you go. There you go. So uh, Dude, let's let's get into raw, man. Let's get this out the way. Let's. <laughs> you really just want please. to get done, please. I'm I'm begging you. Let's get raw out of the way. All right, we will. Let's All right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is how it started. Raw. Uh, you start, it was last night. Obviously, you know, fucking Seth Rollins came out. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna slow it down. What the fuck happened in the beginning? Because I I don't remember. I fell asleep. Ho ho Hogan. Oh yes. Yeah, dude, I I didn't mind this. Like I said, I actually I thought it was a decent show for, you know, taking in consideration what time of year it is and 
You know, they usually have their, their war shows during Christmas because it's a slow time. But I hate the fact that they just fucking they come up with 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 you know something that they just want you to just remember, and they just brainwash the fuck out of you. They just repeat the same fucking thing. Everything is about hashtags. The vigilante sting. We're gonna get that a billion times. The demon cane. Corporate Kane, Ho Ho Hogan, like, come on, dude, I fucking get it, you want to get it trending, you don't have to be, like, I don't know, man, everything just seems so scripted, everything is scripted to, like, the T, and it's just, I don't know, man, did you like this? Um, oh, how can I put this, I mean, I thought Hogan, listen, seeing Hogan's always good, but... Seeing Hogan come out there lately, it, it's it's like they cut his balls and they have him in their hands. He's a sad puppy. He's like a sad puppy dog. Yeah, I I, I know. Oh, not good for fucking plugs, man. That's all it is. That's all it is now. I mean, and yeah, and someone obviously told him quit screwing up your lines because yeah. he's very slow, and you can you can almost see his brain working to not mess up the lines. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I just I hated that whole like, you know, saying it once or twice was fine. You know, I get it why they did it. You know, it's Christmas, everybody's. I get it, dude. I get it. Just the fact that they can't call him Hogan, they have to call him Ho Ho Hogan the whole fucking night. It's just like, come on, man. It, you really need this? Like, uh, I get it. It's PG. It doesn't have to be for fucking children. You know? Yeah, I know. I know. I didn't want to rant, man, but god damn it. That's why I want to get rid of Raw, man. Let's just, let's get into it. Fucking Cena came out, same shit again, you know. Ho, ho, <laughs> Hogan, fucking, what did he say, dude? This, this fucking guy came out, and a bunch of people were wearing Cena shirts. Grown men in their, you know, mid-30s and 40s. Those three grown men in the front row. I knew you would notice those guys. God bless you guys and your family. I don't know where the hell you're from. Uh, what's wrong with you? I don't know. Well, they were in Minnesota last night. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. Ooh, Minnesota. Ooh, Not yeah. For... <laughs> <laughs> nothing against Minnesota, man. With these, oh my god, dude. No, no, nothing against Minnesota for sure. No. <laughs> nothing against people over there now. No. Oh fuck, man. Oh. oh All right, man. Jesus. <laughs> Got me off track. All right. All right. You can blame me for the for the off track in this. <laughs> so blame me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. And uh, Seth Rollins came out. They're giving this guy way too much microphone time. Love yeah. Seth Rollins, but Jesus Christ, man. I uh, just. I'm sorry. I, go ahead. I disagree that they're giving him too much mic time. This is what they've got to do, and I'm going to say it. Anything to give Cena less mic time, I'm down with. <laughs> I am too, I guess, when you put it in that perspective, yeah. I'm just saying, you know what? This guy, Seth Rollins was not, as a matter of fact, you know, he wasn't very good in the shield on the mic. His voice has almost changed into, like, almost a tough guy. I don't know what happened, but... He sounds better. His promos are coming off better to me. I don't know. I I I I like the mic time he's getting. Someone else deserved more mic time, and I think he's doing great. And I'm annoying. so hate to hate to. I don't know. Like I said, anything that gives Cena less mic time, I'm down. Yeah. When you yeah, like I said, when you put it in that perspective, I agree. But I think he's fine on, on small doses. It's just when they give him like, you know, we had like twenty five minutes of of talking last night as usual. That's just dude, it's too much. I don't want to watch thirty minutes of of promo. Are you there? Yeah, I get it. I I know it it, it it's tough, but I don't know. I mean. I don't know. I gotta be honest. A lot of this show had me on my phone playing fucking games. I can't blame you. So, 
a lot of the, and, and that's what I was doing to stay awake. A yeah, lot of, I, I fell asleep at nine, so. Well, I was playing Governor of Poker on my phone. There you go, man. Yeah. Meanwhile, Better. I won four tournaments and got second in two. So I, you know, I did all right. There you go, man. Glad you had a good time. I did, I did, and I, you know, I, I watched the end more than anything. But I mean, you know, I kept looking up here and there. I, 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 I saw the, uh, I saw a lot of the Cena Rollins match, the first match here that we were just about to get into. So let's just stick with that, so I don't take us way off track. All right. Well, as much as I hated the promo, I loved the match. So I'm gonna go ahead and give John Cena credit. Great, you know, really good match. Same spots as usual. But I'll tell you one thing: he pulls off really well is that leg drop from the top rope. He does that really well. So, dude, every time he does that, I swear to God, I think I shrink an inch. That motherfucker, he's gonna get hurt doing that one day. Yeah, he's gonna bust his ass. He's gonna. Well, I mean, Hogan didn't even do it off the top rope and lost, you know, f- lost four inches of height because of it, and has had eight back surgeries. Yeah, but he he doesn't do it every match like Hogan did. True, and I think that's why Fan Fandango stopped doing it so much too. Yeah, we'll get into that guy later. That's God I, bless I, him too. No, he doesn't. Ha- no, he you don't have to God bless that guy. Jeez. Okay, he so, needs uh, it. He needs he, it. He does need it. But I do agree with you on the uh, Cena Rollins match. It was a good match. Really good match. Um, really. What what I don't get is like he comes out and he he it's so so ironic how this guy always talks about how he's putting people over and you know they have to go through me to become the next generation and he's always rooting them up and you know it's like all right he comes out and and, and he says that you know last night uh, not last night but you know last week was was you know fair play and I, I lost clean to to Seth Rollins only to come out and and beat him tonight. You know, it's like so. What's the point of even putting over the guy? You might like they, they never win at the end. You know, look at Bray Wyatt. Did you see his reaction last night, dude? Cena's or Wyatt's? No, Wyatt. I mean, the guy is just—he's done. <laughs> I mean, he hasn't even started. And he's pretty much done. Yeah, I, I'm. I was a big fan. Now I don't even give a shit. It doesn't matter. After seeing that guy come out with all those kids and all that really gimmicky bullshit they give this guy, oh my god! Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm, 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 I'm not. I'm trying not to jump off that train yet. But it's, it's, it's slowly pulling out of the station. I'll put it that way. Does that make any sense? Yeah, but uh, I really, I, I really like Wyatt. I just I just can't get over all that stuff, man. That stuff kind of ruined him, and you know, this feud with Cena clearly did not help. But uh, on to a positive note, I really did enjoy that match, though. I thought it was a good match, good effort by John Cena. I good. usually don't say that. Good, <laughs> good, effort. good effort. Effort, John it, Cena. You're pretty green still, but good, good, good try. <laughs> good effort. I like your gimmick, kid. Yeah, Paul goes a fucking asshole for that, man. I like that. You're going places, kid. I, I like your gimmick, kid. You're going. <laughs> this what an gonna... asshole. God, we sound like douches right now. I don't give a shit, man. That guy is that guy is a douche. <laughs> He's a fucking asshole. We had the listeners. They're gone. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh man, as long as as long as it's entertaining to us, that's what matters, I guess. I'm high anyway. Who cares? <laughs> oh man, this guy. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, oh, oh back to some wrestling. Yeah, I had to find my koozie. There you go. Back <laughs> to the wrestling. Um, yeah. What 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 was the next match, dude? The next match, Fun Dong Go versus Get Wagger. No, it wasn't. I swear to God. It was the new and improved. Oh. Get it right, man. Now he comes Wait. down. To I, I to, oh, my. How could I forget? Please forgive me, WWE. 
They may forgive you, but I won't. <laughs> I won't. I will forever remember. How was he, honestly, how was he improved, though? He just, like, he just became a, a Spanish guy, and it's... I don't know. I mean, it, it, it. they really made him sound like... I don't know. I mean, to me, the only thing that gets new and improved is, like, a fucking dishwashing soap or something. I mean, now it gets rid of grease. Dishwashing soap. I mean... Well... His his theme music is not improved. His theme music, okay. Why would you take away the one thing that you had people actually chanting for the guy? They took it. Oh, well, WWE for you. It's the same. It's the same, you know, beat, but I don't know. I guess, man. But this is you got to you got to keep in mind. This is the same company that's rehashing the, yeah, the feud between between uh, Chris Jericho and Fandango. So nothing surprises me anymore with WWE. But like I said, if if Rosa didn't have those big tits, she'd be a dude. I'm telling you. Yeah, I mean, she kind of looks like one. She I really, don't I don't find her attractive at all. Uh, she's got big luscious tits, but hey. Yeah, but any, anybody could get that with with money, man. Everything is fake on that on that chick. It's yeah, it looks. I'm not impressed, man. No, and if you watch her on Total Divas, she's a total fucking nut job. There you go. Her and more, belong together. More of a reason not to like the lady. Yeah, she's a nut job. But um, yeah, that was that. The, yeah, the anyway, back to the um. Back to the new and improved Fandango. We probably shouldn't even try to figure out how he's new and improved. Um, it, we're just going to hurt our our brains. Yeah, but uh, Fandango won. I mean, there's not really much to say about a Fandango and Swagger match. So, well, but he won with that top rope leg drop. He did. He did. Both his ass as usual. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. you know what's kind of sad about this? That, that Johnny Curtis is actually a good. He's good. The guy actually could be good. This gimmick is just over. Yeah, but he'll he'll never grab the the brass ring. Oh god damn that brass ring. The brass ring, the infamous brass ring. Someone should just go buy a brass ring and wear it out there every time they go. They should. <laughs> Look, grab this motherfucker. <laughs> you should. That's it. That's what I would do. But uh, anything else you you want to talk about about you know as far as this match? No, I just thought I would say that Johnny Curtis, the, the you know who who's is is Fandango. He's actually good, and I think this is this sucks. But I don't know. He was popular for a while there, so he won. Jack Swagger lost again, and uh, on to the next match. Awesome. We can move on from the from the Fandango segment. Yeah, that's that's great. <laughs> but, uh, next match, please. Oh, what was the next match? The next match was... Hold on. Um, R-Truth and uh, Gay Jacks... I mean, Adam Rose. You know what? I actually enjoyed this because I really like heel uh, Adam Rose. I never thought I would say that because I, I can't stand the guy. I mean, I, I fucking hated his gimmick. But uh, I really liked him as, as just a pissed off heel. I liked it. You did? I I did, man. I don't know. I liked it. I'm digging it. You did? I absolutely. I liked it. All right, man. I, he spazzed out, man. He 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 lost his cool. I just can't. I don't know. The character just sucks to me. I, it's just it it it's going. It's well, going. It's, it's developing now. That's why I like it. Ooh, it's ooh. He's gone from face to heel, but where does this character have to go? There, the ceiling has was hit as soon as he made his entrance. To be honest, with you. well, the, the thing is, I, I'm hoping that they're going to drop this gimmick. I'm hoping that's where this is going. I'm hoping that he's going to stop doing this whole dancing around and all that shit, and uh, he becomes a more of a, a, a darker gimmick. And, you know, he drops all the rosebuds and you know does something else. He becomes a grungy hacker. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's better than being a rosebud. I don't know, man. I I, I don't like it, but I, I just well, I, I don't know if I necessarily like it. I like what happened last night. I okay. don't. I don't know if I like this whole thing that's going to happen. All right. 
All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, take it easy, bro. I will, bro. Don't get your brony in a bunch. I won't, man. I don't know. I don't know what that means necessarily, but I definitely won't because it doesn't sound like I would want to do that. I don't know. I think a brony is a is a is a guy with a with a with a tail up his ass. But anyway, uh, um, I definitely don't want to get that in a bunch. <laughs> you know, actually, aren't bronies those My Little Pony fans that are guys? <laughs> I didn't know that existed. All right, back to the raw. Um, See, all right, good. This exists. This is a cult. This is like a yeah, dude. I, I'm out of nowhere. God bless everyone. <laughs> man, what a, what world do we live in now, man? This is I I this is really a thing, bronies. Yeah, dude, it is awesome. Awesome. There you go. I like that. Yeah, awesome. Awesome. <laughs> anyway, I guess next match, man. This this fantastic episode of For All. The, ne- the next match. Uh, oh, yeah. Believe that. Roman Reigns versus The Big Show. Uh, I actually, as much as I hate The Big Show, um, I mean, I'm, I'm not the biggest Roman Reigns fan, but I don't. I don't necessarily hate the guy or anything, but I like this man. I just, you know, I don't. I don't think winning by a, a countout really does much for the guy. No, I did think. That, did you? Did you hear that thing that uh, someone made for Roman Reigns when he goes to grab the mic? Oh yeah, that was that was that was awesome, and that was very clever. That was pretty fun. You know what? I could play that. That was awesome. I could yeah, you have to see the video though. Yeah, you got it. Well, I mean, all he's doing is walking towards the mic. Yeah. Oh, good God, that's a great video I just found on my Facebook. Oh. Oh. Veronica Gomez taken off her top. X-rated. Excellent. <laughs> or like it. X. Woo! At a girl. Anyway. Woo! Uh, <laughs> Take it off. He was crying yeah. like a pussy. Uh, do I have that one? Yeah, of course. I have that one, man. He was crying like a pussy. He was crying like a pussy. I gotta fix that because he sounded kind of just says "puss" at the end. He was crying like a pussy. Still, a, still a great clip. It's still a good one. I know. I need to recut it. I'll do it later. Anyway, next match, please. Uh, did did we talk about the Roman Reigns Big Show match? I mean, I, he pretty much just knocked out the guy and won by count. Out. It, uh, there wasn't really much into it, but uh, you didn't really talk much about it, so please go ahead. Oh no, I really don't have anything to say. <laughs> awesome, let's go then. <laughs> what do you want me to say? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Whatever you like. I mean, it's fucking Roman Reigns and the Big Show. Uh, I don't know. I, don't, I really want to be finished with Raw so I can talk about Royal Rumble because uh, I, don't, I don't like where it's what it's shaping out to be. All right. Well, we're, we're, we've only got uh, – let's see. Um, let's see. We're, uh, we've only got uh, six matches left. Nice. Two of them are Divas matches. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> so amazing. Thank you, Vince McMahon. Uh, two of them are women's matches, so you don't even worry about that. For dude. once, though, I actually watched one of the Divas matches. Believe it or not, I actually watched it. No. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Which one? Uh, the one with the multiple, multiple oh. girl tag team match. Yeah, we'll get the, we're, we're coming up to that one. Nice. I can't wait. I'll I'll bet I I can I can almost sense the excitement over oh, the dude, I can I can wait years. So, yeah, but um, yeah, next match. All right, Natalia, Brie Bella. All right, nice. <laughs> Fucking, we can't wait to talk about this one. Please go ahead. Go ahead, talk about I it. Have- you know my button. 
I'm I I don't I, got shit, dude. I, I, don't have that sound effect, but I will in about two minutes. I'm actually getting it as we speak. Well, I I don't really have much to say about this. All I can say is Natalia look like a dude for the most part, and uh, I really like Tyson Kidd. I'm really <laughs> digging Tyson Kidd, man. That guy is fucking awesome. Him and uh, Cesaro as a tag team, I I like it. It, it always reminds me of like uh you know the Kings of Wrestling, you know, 2.0. I like it. I mean, they need more tag teams, so and they're not doing much with Cesaro, but uh, so far they're on like main event. We haven't seen them on on, on SmackDown or Raw or anything for the most part, so uh, they'll start testing it there. But um, yeah, so uh, yeah, uh, Natalia defeated Brie. That's all right. <laughs> there you go. That's that's the usual routine. Yeah, that's that's not the sound effect I had, but I'll get it anyway. That's close. Enough. It worked. That is close enough. It worked. Uh, let's see here. What else we got here? Oh man, this match: Los Matadores against Golden Stardust. Dude, we shouldn't even. We should have just talked about the three matches that actually mattered. All this shit, like, what the? Okay, what the hell are we possibly gonna talk about it? Okay, then. Uh, we had a. All right, uh, that that match was ridiculous. Okay, yeah, the, goddamn, the, the the fucking bull pin yeah, goal. Yeah. Um. Enough said. Man. Enough just... said. Enough said. After that, we had an IC match, Intercontinental Championship match with Dolph and uh, Luke Harper. Awesome. So thank you, WWE, for the main event, the Intercontinental title match, and the John Cena and Seth Rollins match. Three great matches in one night. The rest of the show, shit. <laughs> we should have just talked about those three matches, and this would have been a lot shorter, and it would have been very positive. For the most part, we've just been like, yeah, I mean, yeah, pretty shitty. Yeah, terrible. Yeah. Fuck this. Ah, fuck Cena. Well, yeah, you're right. You're right. What am I going to say except you're right? You're right. Why don't, just, why don't we just go ahead and go into the main event, man? I mean, there's not really... Unless you want to talk about the Divas match. Um, I'll run through them real quick. There was the Divas match. There was also the Miz and Jey Uso match. Yeah, which uh, Sandow, as always, is, is amazing. As I a, honestly, I think Sandow is going to get the biggest pop at Royal Rumble. I don't know, man. I a, again, I really hope they. Um, I really hope they give him the push he deserves after this. Just, it's 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 hard to say. I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know really what they're going to do with the guy. I don't either. But I really would like to know. I think that's the main reason why they're stretching it out so much. They they really don't know what to do with the guy. Which I I don't blame them because I mean, you know, this is the most over he's been, and it's not the type of gimmick where you can really, you know, prolong it for much longer. I mean, I don't know. We'll see it. We will see. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Buica, buica. There you go. Whatever you said. Buica, buica. Isn't he coming back soon? I hear he's coming back like every other week. Yeah. He'll come back for like a week. Micah, I could see him... Royal Rumble? Uh-huh. Yep. Number 30. All right, let's, let's, let's get into the main event and let's talk about Royal Rumble because that's, that's really what I'm excited about, dude. You mean... Woo! Woo! There you go. Thank you. The miracle on 34th Street fight. Ha ha, I can say it. Michael Cole can't. Yeah, I was going to say that, man. Funny you said that. But yeah, Michael Cole, he really made an ass out of himself. It's the uh, 34th miracle on Street. Yeah, JBL was like, shut the fuck up, Michael. <laughs> I got this, Michael. <laughs> oh man. 
I would love to have seen the looks he got at the booth right there. Yeah, I, I, I like this match, man. I mean, I really I enjoyed all the matches that uh, Bray Wyatt and, and Ambrose have had. I think uh, some of the most probably underrated work, because, I mean, the crowd reaction isn't that great to what it really deserves, because I think, you know, they worked their asses off, man, in these couple matches, the boot camp match, the Miracle on 34th Street, and the fucking uh, the TLC match. I mean, all of them were great. Okay. I'm good. Can I say? I didn't watch the ending, though. I'll say that. So I don't. I'm not sure what happened the last couple of minutes because my uh, DVR didn't record it. That's fine. I just would like to say. Enough with the gimmick matches with these two. Can we actually get a match? Match like a real match. Is it? Can we? Well, not anymore. Please. We can't anymore because they they did it ass backwards. Usually you do do a couple of normal matches and then you, you blow it off with a gimmick match. They start out with a bunch of gimmick matches. How are they going to go to a regular match now? I mean, it's just yeah, you're right. They might as well just kind of just just kill it off now and just do something else. Yeah, it's not like it was a great feud anyway. It started over nothing. We still don't know why he attacked Ambrose. His dad's in jail. Like what? What does that have to do with anything? I thought it all had to do with a hologram. No, yeah, no, <laughs> no, but I don't believe so. <laughs> like that you had to think of. No, wait a minute. Because I'm no. not sure. I still don't know what it's about. I, it's just it's weird. I like the matches. I just don't. I don't really like the feud. I mean, the the build up hasn't been that great. Matches have been, but yeah, there there's a few things right now that WWE is not explaining to us. If you think about it, um. Do you have any clue when or why Brie Bella decided after this whole assistant thing to just join her sister and any any clue at all? Oh, I'm sure she's uh she's gonna turn on her and we're gonna get a WrestleMania match. I think that's But what happened was she was supposed to be her assistant. They go through this whole contrived angle and then Nikki wins the title, Brie comes in, celebrates with her, and now they're just the Bella Twins again? That's it. That was it. There was no... I'm sure I'm sure they're going to explain it later. I mean, it is really weird. And... Oh, I'm sure they'll explain it later. Yeah, I think if she's going to turn on her, and she's just going to say, yeah, I was just, you know, just fooling you so I could get you, you know, get you in my corner, and... Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm not, I don't really care about this man. I don't give a shit. I I don't either. It, it's I, I'm more just talking about the inconsistency that WWE is doing right now. It's just it's crazy. Oh yeah, absolutely. When it comes to like storytelling, yeah. I mean, look at the perfect example of what we were just talking about. Bray Wyatt and Ambrose barely explain anything. Um, I don't know, man. A lot of this stuff doesn't make sense. Well, good. I'm I'm I'm, I'm glad you feel that way too. Oh, absolutely. I felt like that since I've been watching wrestling again, so nothing new. No, I, I guess not. But hey, I, I honestly I did enjoy this role because we got three great matches, like I said. Like three, you know, almost main event type matches. They were all uh, all really good. But aside from that, the promos and all the fillers, I that pretty much killed it and it made it boring. So It did, but you know what I do like and I wish they would do more of? What's that? Those insert promos right before the matches. Oh, yeah, like back in the day. I really like when they do those, and I really think the guys come off. I mean, even Roman Reigns came off good in his. You know why? They're fucking uh, taped. Right. If you fuck up, you can do it a thousand times. Exactly. I think that... They need to do a lot more of that, if you ask me. Now, again, I'm just, I, I'm just a guy sitting on my couch with a microphone, but I think they need to do more of it. Well, I think they need to do a lot of that with uh, Brock Lesnar. Why not? Yeah. You can get the guy on fucking Skype and, and, and get him to do it, you know? said that a long time ago. Fuck that. Fly the guy to, fly the guy to Connecticut. Have him cut... A week's worth of fucking promos with Paul Heyman. A week's worth. Just have him do it for a week. 
And then right there, you've got seven fucking seven raws of promos right there. There you go, man. Uh, how hard is this? God damn it, WWE, hire me and this Literally, guy. Bring him, bring him three three sets of clothes, and get him to do like fifteen promos and just play one every week. That's it. That's it. That's it. it just all done. Yeah. Matter of fact, have him just stand there and have have fucking Heyman talk for him. I'm good with that too. Absolutely. Every now and then, just have Brock say, "Going to leave him in a pile of piss and blood and urine." Say something stupid, Paul. <laughs> say some stupid, Paul. <laughs> I love that man. That was like my favorite moment in wrestling in like 2013. <laughs> awesome. That was pretty priceless, funny. man. That was greatest entertainment you can ask for. That was pretty goddamn good. So <laughs> awkward, man. It was just like a 10 second silence. This guy's just standing there. Yeah. Do something stupid, Paul. And Paul does. <laughs> yeah, probably. I can't remember. But uh, are, are we done with Raw? Oh yeah. All right. Since we're on on Brock Lesnar, let's just segue into this. Um, Jack posted up on on, on Facebook that I guess some sh some uh shows. I guess uh, I think it was SmackDown. I guess the SmackDown after a uh, Royal Rumble. Mm -hmm. Was advertised and John Cena. Spoiler alert! If you don't want to, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna give you a couple seconds. All right. Well, John Cena is advertised as the champion, basically spoiling that he's gonna win at Royal Rumble against Brock Lesnar. Dude, is do you believe this? Do you think this is happening? Do I believe it? Yeah. yeah. Oh fuck, man. Absolutely, I believe it. I would. Absolutely. I I'll tell you what, man. They must love pissing the fans off at Royal Rumble because they did it last year, and this year, dude. Again, not to not to you know be egotistical about about my city again, man. But Philly is the wrong fucking place to crown this guy the 16-time champion. And dude, the people are gonna shit on this. They're gonna hate it. It's gonna get booed out of the building. This is like the, the the one of those crowds that you don't do. New York, all these crowds, Chicago, I wouldn't do it in those areas. If they're gonna do it, they should have saved it for like, you know, somewhere else, down south. Probably. Maybe Midwest. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It doesn't matter, but Yeah, man. Philly's one of those crowds that you probably you know, they don't I'm guessing a lot of people don't like Cena. Um Probably it should be interesting. I know I sure as hell am not going to be happy with that. So if that happens, I'm probably going to lose my shit. Oh, you're going to love it. Here's I'm going to absolutely hate it, dude. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to play devil's advocate for one second, if you don't mind. Right, go ahead. Brock Lesnar, there's been a lot of rumors, whether true or not, that he may not be signing right after Mania. I'm almost positive the guy is leaving. Okay. So why keep the belt on him if you're not 100% sure why if he, if he's going to be there there's really no reason to keep the belt on him. It's the same reason TNA started taking the belt off of people really quickly at the end of the spike season. They weren't sure who was going to still be under contract, so they started taking their belts back. They don't, I mean, you know, that's what they were doing. And I think this may be what WWE is doing. If we're not sure if the guy is going to be here, why should he be champion? Do I think Cena should be champion? No. But right now, it looks like the guy they're building for that is Roman Reigns, and he ain't ready yet. So, I don't know. Devil's Advocate, I can sort of understand business-wise why they would do this, but... That's about it. All right. Well, in, this, in, in, in response to that, man, I mean, let's let's go ahead and face it. This guy's been the champion for how many months? I thought you were going to say in response to that, fuck you. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> fuck and you. I'm not doing the show anymore, man. Hey, I said devil's advocate, which means I'm just being a dick on purpose. You're just, playing, hey. you're just playing it safe. I'm just playing a dick. I'm not really a dick. I just play one on the radio, man. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. But, uh, yeah, I did. Tattily, man. 
But uh, fucking uh, what the hell was I saying, man? You bastard! <laughs> you said, "Oh, you bastard!" What the hell was I saying? You said on that note, and I was, uh, I don't know, you were well, on that note. Fuck you now, man. Jesus, <laughs> this fucking guy. No, but uh, I guess we're talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was saying in 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 response to to what you were saying, John Cena. All right. Let's face it. Brock Lesnar's been the champion for how many months? Five, six months, I guess? Yeah, I guess so. Something like that. So, in this time, you're trying to tell me they couldn't figure out if this guy is staying or not? Or maybe maybe even before giving him the streak, he didn't figure this out? I'm, uh, I mean, that just... I don't know. I don't get that. Well, he's definitely right. signed for Mania. He's, I mean, he's signed up until Mania, so... Right. I see giving him the streak. I understand what they're doing. But I can also see Brock waiting till the last minute to make a decision because he's going to do what he does all the time is play these companies against each other. And now he has a third company, Bellator, that you know may you know throw their hat in the ring. So why not? All right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I, 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 the, the guy is obviously worth money, so whoever gets him is going to get him. But like I said, I, I can, I can business wise see where WWE is coming from here. All right. Well, you're trying to tell me that that the streak it, it was was okay to give it to him. No, right? no. But I understood why they did it. All right. Well, I don't have to. They gave the guy the streak. I'm pretty sure it's okay for them to give him the belt. That's basically just just it doesn't mean much. It's meaningless now. Give the guy the belt, dude. What is the point of you kept it on him for six months? Why not just keep it for one more, two more fucking months? Why give it to Cena if if they're putting over the new guy, right? Which is I guess Roman Reigns or or whoever it may be. That's the whole thing, right? Put over the new guy because Lesnar's, you know, leaving, most likely, or John Cena. He's he's obviously staying around, but hopefully he's gonna put over a new guy. So either way, I'm guessing, you know, the the opponent of of the WWE champion is probably gonna walk out as the next champion, right? I guess. Well, hopefully. Exactly. Hopefully, hopefully we don't get Cena walking out of WrestleMania 31 as a champion. But if, if, if that's the whole point, why not just keep it on, on Lesnar? I mean, we've already seen Cena in, in the main event scene so many times, dude. It's, 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 it makes so much more sense if they just keep it on him until WrestleMania rather than take it off of him two months before WrestleMania because he's leaving. What difference does it make? He's already the champion now. He's been gone for four months. It can't get worse than this. I mean, he's going to be there for the Rumble. He's going to miss Elimination Chamber, which is absolutely fine. And then have him come back at WrestleMania, lose to Reigns, lose to Daniel Bryan, whoever it may be, and there you go. Off he goes. Oh, God. Reigns winning at WrestleMania makes... Oh, God. It's going to happen, man. I mean, you, know, you know it's coming. I think I just threw up my mouth a little bit. I don't... I mean, I'd rather have him than Cena, dude. I don't... Uh... I don't know. I, I really, I need this guy to go away, man. I'm so fucking. I you don't know, like him at all. I think Rollins is ready. Yeah, give him the belt, man. Give Ambrose the belt. I, I think Rollins out of those three. I think, ah, dude, Ambrose, man. Are you kidding me? Uh, let, let me explain. Ambrose out of all three is the best performer. But. The way they have everybody positioned right now, I would actually like to see heel heel Seth Rollins with the belt. That's that's what I was saying. I don't know. I'd, I'd rather see Ambrose. And that's fine. That, I, th I think Ambrose is really good on the mic, and it's just the way he carries himself, man. I think he can. He has a lot of charisma. I mean, Seth Rollins. That's that's what he lacks to me. It's it's not that he's not good at talking or anything. It's just that it, it just sounds so scripted. He doesn't have the charisma. With with Dean Ambrose, they may be scripting all the shit, but you can't really tell 
because the guy puts his own style into it. You know, he has his own little uh, little thing. So I don't know, man. I just I like the guy a little bit more. Um, Seth Rollins, I I prefer him over Roman Reigns. Um, from what I hear, I guess Daniel Bryan's not even coming back till like July. I don't know, man. Looks like he's pretty fucked up and. Dude, that's not good, man. This is what you know. I don't know, man. It, it's sad. The guy was in the fucking right there, man. He was there. He was there. And then, I don't know, man. Fucking Bob Holly syndrome. Yeah, but this it is it is really sad though, because it's like it's one of those stories. It's like it's almost unreal, you know. You see this guy chase his dream, and he, he tackles it down, and then his dad passes away. And, you know, right before that, of course, he gets married. So, you know, it's all it's all a good story, and then uh, it's all downhill from there. I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you just brought up Daniel Bryan and Mary, those two words. That clicked something on it for me. Did you – WWE did a thing where they showed the power couples that had been voted on by – goddamn, who were they voted on by? But anyway, I, WWE I, I, Universe. No, it wasn't them. It was an actual. It was a magazine. What? Damn it! It was a. Oh, it oh. wasn't the WWE Universe through the app. No, it wasn't. Hold on. Oh my god! Is that possible? Daniel Bryan. Holy shit! I didn't know they had polls without using the app. Yeah. I thought we had to do everything with the app. They oh, can. Bring up anything about Daniel Bryan, but they bring this up. Here you go. 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 But they bring this up. They don't bring up when he, you know, uh, you know, the, the fact that he, you know, chased down a break. This was from MSN. This was MSN. MSN. MSN power couples list. Bree and um. Bree and Daniel were on there. This they bring up about Daniel Bryan. They don't bring up anything about his surgery. They don't bring up when he chases down a burglar in his house. Yeah, that was ridiculous. But they'll bring like you, up. You want to put the guy over as like a superhero or as, you know, a, a real baby face, and he actually does does that in in real life. You know, and you don't make mention of it. But uh, yeah, it's really odd. Yep. And you know, uh, Kevin in the chat makes a good point. He he doesn't, you know, Daniel Bryan. He's probably just he's just not doesn't want to risk anything for them right now. But I, I definitely, ooh, he doesn't think he'll wrestle for them again at all. That's interesting. You 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 think he'll even go back to WWE? Well, uh, Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I mean, if anywhere, I'd I'd assume he'd probably go back to the WWE. Why wouldn't he? I mean, he was he was getting a push when he left. Why wouldn't he? Oh. He could probably get cleared right now through TNA. Yeah, but <laughs> why would he do that? <laughs> I don't know. I think he'll go back to WWE, and they're either going to do one of two things with him. Going to be on Destination America. Yeah. They're either going to treat him like the champion he was, or... They're going to treat him like shit when he comes back and make him start from scratch again. Um, that all depends on Reigns, honestly. You think? Yeah, if Reigns gets over and, and he can carry the, the title and he's getting a good reaction, then I'm they'll probably just put him on the, on the back burner. But, you know, if he comes out and, and, and everybody wants Daniel Bryan again and the whole Yes movement gets going again and everybody's booing Reigns, kind of like what they were doing with the Cena, then, yeah, they're going to push Bryan again. They're going to be forced to. I hope they do. I mean, I really, they're going to have to. It's the same shit that happened last year. Same scenario. Yeah. I know. I, I, I just hope they push him over... I don't know. We'll just have yeah, to... I'm actually, he's, he's one of those guys that I'm, I'm, I'm sure that he's, a, he's, he's always going to have a good position now for the most part because he's one of those guys that doesn't really... He doesn't piss anybody off, you know, quote-unquote with Vince, but... Yeah, but he's been he doing a long time and... I don't know. I can just... I don't know. Yeah, but who's taking his spot? There's nobody. Ambrose right now. 
But he's dude. If if Daniel Bryan comes out, he's gonna get four times, five times more of a reaction than, than Ambrose. Roman Reigns. It's no, not the same thing. Ladies. Well, yeah, with the kids and the and the, and the ladies. Taking his lips full. Oh, ladies. Bring yeah. back Val Venus. For the lady. Did you say Val Venus? <laughs> Hello, ladies. Awesome. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Uh, yeah, I think I got a cricket sound effect back. I like I like this one better. It's very quiet. Yeah, yeah. Use this one from now on. All right, I got it. I it, it was two minutes and twenty two seconds. I cut it down to eight. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Who wants to hear two minutes and twenty two seconds of that? I do. When it comes to Divas match. Actually, if you go on. I didn't realize YouTube has all this ambient sounds you can download and get. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just for, yeah, great. Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff on there. Uh, nice. Bro. Oh, the sound effects. We're forgetting to work bro on the show again, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, bro. I know, bro. Fuck, man. Bro, bro, brogan. You like how I called this our brocast last week? <laughs> the brocast. The Hot Tag Broadcast, Broadcasting live every Tuesday. There we go. Uh, let's see. Kevin thinks they're going to treat him like shit because they were never interested in pushing him in the first place. I kind of – I don't know. I, I, I tend to agree with them. Yeah, I mean I, I agree as far as that they don't want to push the guy. I'm saying – when he comes back, he's going to get a bigger reaction than anybody else on the roster, most likely. And they're going to be forced to do the same shit, push the guy again. I hope. I mean, that's, you know. I do. I really hope they're forced to push this guy. So I guess we'll see what happens, but I don't know, man. I'm I'm hoping it, it will uh, it, it'll work, and I'm hoping he's going to get a good push when he comes back. I'm, I'm hoping the guy comes back at all, man. I mean, it doesn't... Really seem like he's 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 recovering fast. Yeah, they say that he's just not getting feeling back in his arm. His yeah, health. Wow. nerve issues, man. That shit's serious. Hell yeah, it is. It can just get worse untreated. So yeah, especially with you know wrestling, his style and all that stuff. I mean, mm-hmm. and and the, the you know the, it's not even just his arm. He just had the neck surgery, so not good. So, best best wishes to Daniel Bryan. Yeah, man. What do you fucking indie marks, Bryan Danielson? Oh shit! What's up, dude? Just looking at something, dude. Looks like I don't know. Well, all right, bro. Now there's something going on in the stream thing. Oh, bro. No, yeah, I know, bro. It's just, it's, it's. it's 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 just it's weird, but it's it's not hurting anything that we're doing. So who who gives a shit? I'm gonna shut it down actually. Um, Scare me for a second, bro. No, bro, don't worry, man. If YouTube ain't fucking up, it's recording and we're all good. All right, dude. Sounds fantastic. Fan fucking tastic. But yeah, I just I really hope they don't put the title on Cena at the Rumble, man. I think that's gonna be a bad bad move. Well. We may need to do a show right after the Rumble, then. Uh, we probably should. We may need to, because I got a feeling you're going to be one upset puppy. I hope I'm not. I hope I'm happy. But if this is if this is going to be the result, and this is going to be the outcome of John Cena as, as a 16-time champion, uh, yeah. Oh, my God, you just reminded me. It's going to make him the 16-time champion. That's what I'm saying. Doing that shit in Philly, dude, it's not, not a good move, man. Oh. Not a good move. Oh. Especially, dude, do you remember last year at at uh, Royal Rumble? Do you remember that reaction? I do. Daniel Bryan, I mean, do they really want to repeat that? Do they, I mean, I don't know, man. That was all Batista's fault, man. It was all Batista's fault. Yeah, poor Batista. Oh man, we shouldn't even get into that again. We've gotten into it before, but yeah, I agree. 
bad timing, worse booking. Absolutely. That's yeah. all I can say about it. Anything else you want to talk about as far as uh, WWE-related stuff? Just trying to unstick my balls from my leg. Anyway. Awesome. <laughs> so much information. God damn it. Well, I figured I'd say it. Who gives a shit? Um, listen, we're live. Who cares? Yeah. We're live, pal. <laughs> Nothing is wrong when you're live. Yeah. Everything was supposed to happen. Yeah. That's what he says. Whoa. If you're live, that was supposed to happen. Whatever it may be. Really bad logic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. It's kind of not, is. But not really good. No, not really. It's, I guess it's kind of like the show must go on logic. Yeah. yeah. So. That's, that's better wording, I guess. Show must go on, bro. The show must go on, bro. We don't care. I mean, you can you can die in the ring, and we're going to keep going. Right, Owen? Yeah. We're not going to keep going, man. We're going to keep growing. <laughs> keep growing. Oh, my God. We are going to keep growing. Hell, yeah, bro. We're going to so, keep, keep brocking and broing. That's right, bro. Brock. Um... So we're gonna have to find some stuff to stretch this show because uh, we're pretty. Oh, much... we, we can absolutely do that with audio blade jobs. We can. We should. What's some of the bloodiest matches? What's some of the? I don't. I can't even think of any. The bloodiest matches. Uh, as far as like what WWE overall. I mean, I mean overall, we could get into a bunch of indie shit, but I don't know, man. I mean, I. I can name a bunch of Japan stuff. I don't know if you're like familiar with any of that stuff, but probably not. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico is really underrated as far as like the the, the blood matches. Hmm. I mean, Bruiser Brody and Abdul the Butcher—they had fucking blood baths. Uh, Carlos Colon and Bruiser Brody, Carlos Colon and Abdul the Butcher. Um, I know there was a match with uh, Invader Three. Um, with a guy, he he actually landed like knee first on his chest. I'm sure it was a gimmick. I'm sure it was blood capsules. I don't really think the guy was injured. I don't think he was you know internally ble- bleeding or anything. But uh, he started you know just spewing out a bunch of blood, and the ring was like covered in fucking blood. It was disgusting. But that's another one that sticks out. Who was that again? Uh, Invader Three against somebody in Puerto Rico. Huh. Yeah, he was just spewing out blood everywhere. Man, don't know that. One. Um, Eddie Guerrero when he cut himself. Yeah, that one gets gets talked about a lot. That Guerrero match. Matter of fact, I was just looking at a picture of it. And of course, you know the IWA Death Match Tournament uh, Finals: Cactus Jack and Terry Funk. That was a bloodbath. Probably the greatest uh, uh, barbed wire. <laughs> No rope bar bar match that I've seen. One of my favorites, at least. What I remember. Oh, Michaels, Chris Benoit, and Triple H, WrestleMania 20. Yeah, that was a good one. Michaels was drenched that match. <clears throat> yeah, that was a good one. Um, and I'll tell you, I remember John Cena and JBL had a bloody match. In, uh, yeah, I, I've seen clips of that one. I, I wasn't watching that much. But... Yeah, Cena was a bloody mess. When was that? 04? 05? Probably. I think it was 05. I think I think it was 05. And I think that Eddie I think that Eddie Guerrero match was against JBL too. You know what's really weird? One of those guys that that always uh was in hardcore matches, but I don't recall him bleeding too many times other than, you know, as I'm talking about his, his face anyway. Um, Sabu, I, I don't recall him bleeding too many times from the forehead. He always got gashed on his, uh, on his like, body. But Oh, yeah, his arms mainly. His uh, Yeah, his arms and his body usually got cut up pretty bad. And it's, it's weird. He got most of those scars from, like, his first barbed wire match. Huh. Yeah. yeah. They're, like, all from the same match. 
Ooh. Yeah, you got like really fucked up. Here's a cool Facebook page. Wrestling's bloodiest photos. <laughs> All right. You post that link up. I will right now. I'm looking at the page right now as we are speaking. Let's see here. I'm going to pop this up here. Actually, will you take over for like uh, one minute? I'm just going to let this dog out. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Rest bloody. I'm going to pop this up on the Facebook so everybody can check it out. You might want to like this page. Pretty good page. Here we go. Posting it right now for you guys. First picture right on there. Mr. Koloff. Ivan Koloff, who is actually on uh, Stone Cold's podcast this week. Bro. Here you go. I'll post it in the chat room for the guys there. They can take a peek at it while we're in there. Do this. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, there have definitely been some bloody, bloody matches out there. So, taking a look. Though, let's see who else is on here. But I do remember that match. That was 2005, that match I was talking about with JBL and John Cena. That was actually 2005. I took a peek at that. But, uh,. They're showing a lot of women on this on this site Mex uh, in Mexico. Wow, bloody women, bloody bloody, and they're showing a lot of um, indie guys. But yeah, there's a there's a good amount of uh, big bloody pictures on this site. Terry Funk, of course. How can you have a I could have a wrestling's bloodiest without a picture of Terry Funk. They got some old stuff on here too, like Jesus, guy named Beast Martin. That's an old one. They got an old Mick Foley in here. Damn, some of these guys are pretty messed up. Eesh. Yeah, this is good stuff. And of course you got Abdul on here. You gotta have Abdul the Butcher if you're talking about it. But there's that. Abdul is the greatest. Yep, they got him, they got this is a pretty good site, man. They got a lot of indie stuff too, but then it goes back to a lot of old school stuff. They got a picture of Flair and Dusty in here. Flair looks young and fucking not flabby. Yeah, I, I love the old school uh, hardcore matches. Yeah, they got a few of them here. Kamala and, and Waller. That's what I'm saying, man. Dude, I, I swear, man. Puerto Rico did a lot of shit that they didn't get credit for. And this is not coming from a Puerto Rican, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they got, a lot of indie, they got a lot of indie guys on here, man. They did, they like, pretty much did the, the first barbed wire matches. Oh, they've got someone pulling barbed wire out of someone's arm. Oh my God, this looks painful. I'm not gonna. Put, I'm gonna put this in the chat room. So if you're in the chat room, you can check this out. I'll put it on the site too. Oh, let me see if I can check this out. Bloodiest photos. Mr. Koloff, by the way, uh, Ivan Koloff was on uh, Austin's yeah. podcast. Podcast, yeah, I said that. <clears throat> that was a good interview, man. Yeah, I listened to like half of it. I didn't realize he was, he got so heavy into drugs. Yeah. I didn't gain everything. Yeah, he was all $1,500 like, habit a week, man, that's a lot. That's a lot of coin, especially back then. But uh, looking at these pictures... Here, I'll put it right in the bloodiest uh, on that match, on that page that I posted. So then not everyone has to look at it. It's pretty nasty. There looking you go. At, looking at these pictures... Uh, Here, check that one out. Did, did, you, did you see the picture with uh, the, the girl with the skewers in her head? Yeah. Yeah, they, they do that a lot in CZW, man. That's like the one thing that I find really gruesome, man. Like, I have a strong stomach for this stuff, man. Like watching that, 
especially live when I saw that tournament of death, man, that shit is like really hard to watch. Yeah, I saw that happen once where a guy got a whole bunch of them stuck in his head. It's, yeah, that's what they do, man. It's, it's gross. That is pretty gross. I don't, that, that's got to, I mean, I, I don't know how much, I don't know. Uh, how much, I don't know how much damage it can do, but god damn, that looks painful. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't imagine it feel, it would, it would feel good. Uh no, I'd have to say probably not. Wow, there's a picture of uh, Eddie Gilbert and Cactus Jack. Yeah, did you see that one? Yeah, one of my uh favorite feuds as a kid. Uh, I, I, man, I saw pictures of this in in the, in the wrestling magazines. I don't know if you remember this, but they used a lot of these photos in the um, wrestling magazines right around like 92, 93. Uh, Eddie Gilbert and, and Cactus Jack, they had, a, they had a long feud in a TWA, Tri-State Wrestling Alliance, which was uh, run by Todd Gordon, which actually eventually pretty much you know stemmed into ECW. So that was in 92. So, you know, that little hardcore wrestling history for you guys there. There you go. You're welcome. But uh, TWA... Fucking awesome, man. If you guys can get some TWA footage, man, they had some really good matches. And there's they only had like five or six uh, cards. And, and none of them were really uh, filmed like in, in high definition or anything really watchable. A lot of it is just shit quality. I, I have some of the better footage out there. But, uh, yeah, man, it was awesome. They had like four or five matches in TWA. Three matches in, in a night, actually. Uh where this this picture is actually from. They had a street fight, and then they had a barbed wire match, and then they had the steel cage match, and then Bam Bam Bigelow did, did a run-in, which, uh, you know, Eddie Gilbert, Bam Bam Bigelow, and Cactus Jack in the same ring. What else do you want? Yeah, that's fucking badass, man. Yeah, man, TWA, man, check it out. Uh, Terry Funk was up there, uh, Jerry the King Lawler, um, Kevin Sullivan, Abdul the Butcher, the original Sheik, Eddie Gilbert, Cactus Jack, Luna Vachon, Medusa, a very young Sabu before ECW. Um, that's just off the top of my head. Manny Fernandez, uh, Rob Van Dam, Steiner Brothers. I mean, anybody that, that you would imagine you would want in, a, in, a, in the hardcore scene or on a, on a good indie show in 92 was on there. Really good stuff. Nice. And yeah, maybe I can find some of the footage and post it up. It's good yeah. shit. It's good shit. Speaking yeah. of blood, uh, you know the referee for NXT. Are you familiar with uh, Drake Younger? Okay, I know who you're talking about. Yeah. Speaking of blood, man, he he was a heavy bleeder. That guy was bleeding his ass off on the Indies. He was doing the CZW stuff. Uh, he he had a couple tours in Japan and Big Japan. Even uh, he had a couple uh, he had a couple angles where it, where they actually uh, he like punctured. He got punctured in his in his cheek, and uh, it was it was fucking disgusting, man. Ow! Oh, some of these Japanese matches are really bad. Man, I shouldn't have started looking at this page. <laughs> oh yeah, I see that barbed wire one. That's uh, I think that's who is this? Is that Madman Pondo? I do not doubt that you know exactly where that picture is from. No, I guess it's I guess it's uh, what's his name? That just looks so painful. Fuck uh, bulldozer. What's his name? Matt Tremont. There you go. Oh, that's pretty fucking painful, bro. Um. Man, that looks disgusting. New Jack and what's, what was that guy's name? Uh, Louis Ramos, Ramos, whatever his name is. Scumbag Louis Ramos. There you go. Jeez, these guys are now. These guys are posting up chicks with giant tits wrestling. That's that's actually uh, these are pictures from the show that I was at. Uh, the one with like Masada. And and the masked guy. Which picture? Um, the CZW ones from uh, Tournament of Death. Oh, cool. Man, uh, yeah, they, they bring back some more blood, man. I don't know, man. They had a uh, last week had a little bit of blood in it, and then next thing you know, 
none, none at all this week. No. No, but uh, I'm not gonna get any for a while. I don't really need the blood, but I do like it in certain situations. Yeah. Like, like, like we said last week, man. You know, three times a year. Yeah. Cage match. Heart, like, I mean, TLC needs blood somewhere. In my oh, oh, definitely. Yeah, I think we said TLC, Extreme Rules, and um, Elimination Chamber. Oh, wait, so four times, Hell in a Cell. Yeah. Yeah, so you really need four, but... That's not bad. Well, do yourself a favor and just uh. Well, they they actually eliminated the, no pun intended. They eliminated the elimination chamber. Oh, that's right. So three times. There you go. There you go. You're right. They did. Good enough, man. You are correct. They did get rid of the elimination chamber. Steve Corino was another guy that was always fucking bleeding. I do remember him always bleeding. Oh my god, that guy used to he bled like when I was at that tournament at Deathman, uh there was a bunch of uh big Japan wrestlers that came down for the for the show. One of them was like a uh, Jackie uh Jackie Numsawao. I think that's how you say his name. I uh, probably totally botched that. I'm sorry for the Japanese fans if there's any of you out there, but <laughs> I'm sorry, you have hard names. But uh I understand I have a hard name. Fuck you. But uh yeah, man, these guys, after the match, people were taking pictures with them, and I, I wanted a picture, but these guys were, like, fucking bleeding everywhere. I'm like, ah. And uh, I think I, I may have mentioned this quickly before. And uh, one of them went to, like, shake my hand because that's what everybody was doing, you know. And I just, just awkwardly just, just kind of refused. And uh, I just I just bowed down and did the traditional, like, Japanese greeting. <laughs> it was very awkward because he, he could kind of sense that I just didn't want to shake his hand because of the blood. But then, like, what do you expect, man? Dude, I don't, I don't fucking know you. I don't want you, like, bleeding all over me. Yeah, blood's kind of a weird thing that if you don't know someone, it's like, yeah, that's kind of strange. Even if I know you, I don't, I don't want to deal with your blood, man. Just get that shit away from me. No, I'd have to know you pretty well. I, do, I, I don't care if you're... I just, I just don't want to deal with anybody's blood. Yeah, I guess you kind of got to... Yeah, I guess. But, uh, yeah... It's weird, man, and like at some of the shows that I've been in, like you know, Balls Mahoney and Axe Rotten bleeding during intermission. They're signing autographs. People, you know, they're taking their five-year-olds. And I'm just like, oh man, I don't, I don't really feel that safe. <laughs> Fucking blood all over the picture. Yeah, you know, people are taking their shirts and stuff, getting getting their blood smeared on there, and actually paying extra for it. It's like, oh my god, man, are you kidding oh, me? Jesus, you fucking people. What's wrong with you? This is real stories, you know. Oh, I I don't doubt it. Crazy man, weird people. Insanity. Insanity indeed, man. And uh, yeah, man, I think I think blood helps out in certain matches. Absolutely. Like it, it did with the ladder match, you know. Yeah, absolutely. It it, it I it, like I said, it's certain matches, certain times. I don't want to see it every night. I don't want to see it every week. I don't want to. I think it'd be overkill. Yeah, like Ric Flair and you know, like O2. Yeah. He'd <laughs> do a promo and bleed. <laughs> Fucking pick up the microphone and cut himself on the way down. Ric Flair blades for everything. <laughs> he does, man. He's like... <laughs> Woo! Gotta do it. You know what... Woo! That's it, baby. You're going to bleed all night long. Woo! It's more like I'm going to bleed. Yeah. <laughs> With that guy, man. You're going to bleed all over somebody. Uh, Brock Lesnar and Undertaker, their Hell in a Cell match. That was pretty bloody. What was that? Undertaker, Brock Lesnar. Huh. They had a match. When was that? I don't remember. But uh, it was a Hell in a Cell match. I don't remember either, which is why I asked. Yeah, the first Hell in a Cell match, that was pretty bloody. Uh, Shawn Michaels and Undertaker. Yeah, I said... Uh, no, I said the Michaels-Benoit um, Triple H match. I, I remember that one for some reason. Yeah. But I did look up that JBL Cena match was in 05. 
Nice. But, yeah. uh, I do remember Cena was a bloody mess in that match. Of course, you know, Stone Cold and Bret Hart and all those okay. typical matches. That was uh, 17, WrestleMania. Oh, my God. Sick Nick Mondo, man. His... Good God, man. Have you seen this picture? His ribs are just completely cut up like a thousand different times. Yeah. I... Oh, my God. That is disgusting. <laughs> it's no wonder you quit wrestling, man. God bless you. Oh, jeez. Yeah, that guy quit a while ago. I don't blame you. That is disgusting. Man, that looks horrible. <laughs> Jesus. Are you still on that page? Yeah. Boy, what the fuck? Man, there's a picture of Daniel Bryan here, a bloody mess, too. Oh, yeah. Wait till you go way further down, man. I'm, I'm like, way below that. Keep, oh, yeah. going, keep going until you see the ribs picture, man. My God, that one is that one is something else. That one is something else. I don't know how far you down, how far down you are, but I'm looking. Oh, you'll see it when you see it. It's gross. I see somebody using a s Madman Pondo using a sickle. God damn. You know who's you know who's a hardcore guy that was really underrated. I hope you know who he is because he's he's fucking crazy. Mr. Pogo, you remember him? No, I'm sorry. Oh. Dude. I'm sorry, man. Master Pogo. Master Pogo. Yeah, he was in uh he was in Puerto Rico for a while. Did a bunch of stuff with like Bruiser Brody and he was in Japan for the most part. He he was in IWA and FMW and all that. He that guy, man, he used to use a bunch of weapons. Different kinds of blades. Of course he never really cut the guy, but you know, the illusion. Hmm. Damn, there's this guy in CZW here bleeding, and he's it's gushing, and he's got it yeah. in his like a fountain. Yeah. yeah. That's like the infamous uh, CZW footage that everybody plays. How much further down, man? Oh, you have to go down, brother. I am, I am. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Wow, that's a good picture of Warrior. He's not bloody, but warrior. I didn't see that. It was. It's up there. There's a quick picture of him. Wait Are a minute. Warrior man. That's that's Texas Tornado, dude. I was about to say, was that the Von Erich? Yeah, that's Kerry Von Erich. Holy shit! Take those tassels off, you little fucker. Yeah, go down a couple more pictures, man. You're almost there. Uh, Kerry Von Erich, man. That guy was. He was another bleeder. He bled a lot in uh. World class. I know you had a couple matches with uh, Ric Flair. I want Michael Hayes. Pretty bloody. Yeah, go past the Vader. I'm on oh. Richards, Terry Funk. Yeah, a couple more down. Past the Rock. Shit, I don't even think I've got the Rock. Ooh, titties. Oh, there's the Rock. Okay, <laughs> right before the Rock, there's some titties. Yeah. Pass to Shawn Michaels. I'm looking at Shawn right now. He's staring at me all bloody. Two, three more pictures. Oh, look at Dory. Bloody as hell. <sighs> oh, shit. Man, you see what I'm talking about? It's disgusting, man. It's so crazy. Yeah, that that that's going to leave a scar. Yeah. Ew, it looks like it's... Where do you think that's from? That had to have been a uh, light. That had to have been barbed wire. Yeah, but I mean, look at it though. I mean, how many, how close was the, was the barbed wire? To because I mean, when they usually do the barbed wire, it's only like three, four ropes. It wouldn't be that close to each other. That that looks like I don't know, man. That was fucking disgusting. That's pretty bad. Man. Yeah, sick Nick Mondo, man. Whoever said, uh, you know, with all due respect to Mick Foley, whoever said he was the most hardcore guy, check this guy out. This guy. <laughs> Jesus. And I know Tony Rufo is like uh, sick Nick Mondo's biggest fan. He got him into independent wrestling, so. Oh, my God, that's a horrible picture. That is a horrible picture. It just looks, oh. Yeah. 
God, yeah. that is brutal. I'm sorry. I know. I know this is like been really boring the last five minutes for the listeners. We're just sitting here like, oh my god. Yeah, it's worse oh than- shit, that's terrible. Yeah. Oh fuck. God, I can't see. Look at that picture of the barbed wire being pulled out of the arm. Ah. Uh, yeah. God damn, that looks painful. And that's something from S content A D F. That could be something from here, Dallas Fort Worth. Go up there, man. Check it out. Might need to see where this picture is from. By the way, there's there's a there's a girl on our uh, on our Facebook page. I don't know if it's like some kind of virus or whatever. There's some girl that keeps posting fucking like like bags and all this shit on there. I keep deleting them and banning her. She keeps. I think it's a guy. They, why, dude, it's a wrestling page. Like, no one's going to buy, you know, Uggs boots. Like, what the fuck? Uh, we're not the only page that it happens to. It's no big deal. I keep banning the person. Yeah, but it's just like, I mean, you would just, it's a waste of their own time. I mean, I, you know, if you're going to do it, at least do it somewhere where, you know, there's a demand for it. I don't think wrestling fans are buying Uggs boots. I don't think so. Yeah, but fuck that guy slash lady or whatever. Annoying the shit that out of The only thing I have been so far is that person. Nice. Get on there, say what you want, when you want. You know, you know, posted. What the hell are you doing? Who? You. What? You just unplugged your headphones? I did. I could tell. Did it make a difference? Big time. You're very echoey. All right, let me put it back in. <laughs> I can't believe that would have been. Sounds like you're slapping somebody. I am back. Oh, dude, that took every echo and sound out of there. That's why I keep telling you to get a Mac, man. Oh, my, I think I sound just fine. The Mac's where it's at, bro. Yeah. I can't afford one, bro. Get a, get a used one, bro. Actually, I was looking at Mini Max. I was looking at those Mini Max. I've got monitors. Yeah, it's good shit, man. So I was thinking about getting one of those Mini Max in a, in a little while. Yeah. What's the name? Uh, let's talk about WrestleMania a little bit. I mean, we're almost on the road to WrestleMania. The road to WrestleMania. Well, yeah, you want to talk about the Royal Rumble. What's that? We wanted to talk about the Rumble. That's why we went through Raw so fast. Well, we kind of did. I wanted to talk about Cena winning at the Rumble pretty much. But, uh, yeah, let's talk about the Rumble. Who do you think is going to be the surprise uh, appearances? Who are a couple people you're expecting or would like to see? I see Ray coming back. Okay. I said that. Um... I don't think you're going to get any of the... uh, Legends of the older guys this year. I don't think you're going to. Possibly could see. Man, if they brought Batista back, that would just. Nah, man, no way. Oh, that would just. Guy is, that guy's worth more money than ever now. It's not worth it. Yeah. Um. <sighs> I'm. I'm. Obviously, they're bringing back Punk. Uh, I mean, obviously. <laughs> I probably should have put. Why would, the, why would you spoil that for the people? I probably should have put the camera on so you can see Dude, this you're, in my face. Ladies and gentlemen, I, I apologize on on my behalf and this guy for being an asshole and being a dick and and spoiling everything for you guys. But yes, the rumors are true. CM Punk is coming back at the Royal Rumble. Are you happy now? I am. <laughs> fucking asshole. The Miz guy. Blame this guy. Don't blame me. He he just ruined the entertainment for you. I love the misery of others. I see. You just ruined Royal Rumble for everybody. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, dude, if they bring Punk back, I will. I will. I'll. I'll do this. Sh- I'll. I'll do something. Yeah. I mean, he. They're not so. I don't want to say I'll do anything because if it happens, people are going to hold me to it. 
I'm sure they will, as they should. But, I mean, with them, you know, ejecting people for wearing his merchandise, dude, that clearly is a big sign that they don't want him back anytime soon. I was just fucking around. There's no way they're bringing him back. I Obviously. Just... I mean, but... Did they think of anybody? Holy shit! I Generally could... speaking, I just I don't see the guy coming back anytime soon. Who do you think? Um, Ray Mysterio is one that I definitely like, you know, as you said, I definitely can see coming back, and I really think he is coming back. Um, I, man, as far as coming back, I was saying Daniel Bryan, but apparently the guy is not healthy enough to come back yet, so. That's a guy that's out. Uh, Bad News Barrett is, is one guy that I can see coming out. Yeah, yeah, they did say he was ready to come back. Very very, very good point. I could see him coming back. Um, somebody like Christian, I can see coming back. Well, Christian, that could be since he's guest hosting with um, Edge. Edge. Christian, yeah. that's awesome. By the way, that, sh that should be entertaining for all. So. Thank God it's not Jericho. I mean, Edge and Christian, together, dude, they're gold. Separate, not so much, but together they're, they're awesome. Yeah, I, I think it's going to be a, a, a fun uh, Monday. I'm hoping it will be. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of filler since it's you know almost New Year's, but uh, I think I think the Edge and Christian stuff is going to be good. Yeah. Uh, as, as, as far as coming back, though, man, who else? I mean, I don't know. I don't know, man. I I, I think you you might have hit it mainly with. I could see the two big ones being, you know, Bad News and Rey Mysterio. I don't see, I mean, what, I mean, you, 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 I don't know, what, Zack Ryder? What about Bo Dallas? Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> the great Bo Dallas. That would be exciting, wouldn't it? Or you just don't believe? Yeah, that would be real exciting. Or boring. don't boring. Or you just don't bro leave. <laughs> gotta believe, man. You gotta bro leave, dude. Oh, Dallas used to be gold, though. He just fucking sucks now. He's never gold. <laughs> you just you liked him. <laughs> I did for a couple weeks until he lost to our truth. Yeah, dude, there was. No, he was never gold. He wasn't even silver. He was, he wasn't even bronze. He was like aluminum. You're right. He was, he was platinum. No, he was aluminum. Just platinum. Fucking tin foil. Now he is. Yeah. He's, 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 he's <laughs> fucking alloy now. What did he do? Sprain his ankle or something? I don't know. He got injured though. Ah, uh, probably broke a nail. Little faggot. Whoa. <laughs> I love that reaction. <laughs> Whoa. What are you on, Blunt 3 already? <laughs> Whoa. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know, man. Who else can we possibly see coming back? I don't know, man. There's got to be more. I mean, they say it's, you know, ECW people are supposedly coming back. Well, who are they going to bring back? Like, RVD? You saw it last year. I... <sighs> Why do they? Yeah, why do they bring him back? What for? I mean, I don't, I don't really mind him, but I don't want to see it as a surprise because we already just saw that last year. I don't mind him. I mean, the guy's a pothead. I, I'm obviously he's. <laughs> That's not a good reason to like the guy, man. Well, so, I mean, uh, dude, you know, a friend with weed is a friend indeed. Jesus anyway, Christ. <laughs> this guy. Don't get kidnapped, man. All right. Don't he, get kidnapped for a sack of weed, Jesus. I won't. No, he's he's an advocate for the legalization of marijuana. I respect that. That's great. I like RVD. I think he gave up about two years ago on wrestling and now just goes through the motions. Probably. I don't – why do they keep bringing him back for three months just to let him leave again and then bring him back and then – I don't get it. Yeah, he did a... Uh... They brought him back and stuck him on the fucking pre-show. 
Ambrose. That was actually a good match. I remember that. Wasn't that a ladder match? But it was the pre-show. Yeah, but was it an, was was it a ladder match? I don't remember. I think it was. I really don't. Oh, I know it was Ambrose, but I don't remember. But oh, man, I might be getting too high here. But but why? I don't know. I, I, I it just doesn't make sense to me to keep bringing them back just to let them go. But whatever, they can do what they want. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. But uh, WrestleMania, man. Uh, as far as as the card, what do you see it shaping out to be? Give me the card, man. Give me a rundown up and down the card. Up, right on the south. Down, yeah. up, and down. write it out. What the fuck? No, I just I I, I couldn't get my word out, man. I I, bro. I can't do all this, bro. I I mean, you know, I fucking bro. Bro. <laughs> you mean you? Oh, forget it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> I swear to God. Come on, son. Bar, son. <laughs> oh, God, don't start that again. Come on, son. You know, I mean... <laughs> you know you can't fuck with this, son. Got bar, son. They didn't even bring them out this week. All they did was... <laughs> Thank uh, God. I know. Thank God. My prayers have been answered. All they... <laughs> Man. That's kind of how I felt when Bo Dallas got hurt. But um, whoa, dude! Come <laughs> on, man. not cool. You gotta believe, man. Oh, you have to. Jesus Christ! I don't have to believe anything about both. You're not gonna bo leave. At least bro leave, dude. My God. Man, come on, man! You gotta, you gotta be a true bro ham. No, you know what I think about Bo Dallas? What's that? A fag. It's, it's bro Dallas. <laughs> All right, whatever. <laughs> Bo, Bro Dallas, Dallas. Bro Dallas, both yeah. of them. Yeah. I don't know. I no, I don't know. Okay, WrestleMania. You want me to actually try to think of what it's gonna be? I don't even fucking know, dude. I am. <laughs> what, what, what would you like to see? Come on, dude. We're, it's, it's only ten, ten fifteen. Let's at least go to ten thirty. <sighs> Give me a card. Ace of Spades. Nice. <laughs> you said give you a card. I gave you a card. You did. <laughs> you did. Uh, I thought that was kind of clever. Um, <laughs> I'm stalling, if you can't tell. I see. But, uh, I definitely... Uh, let's, let, let's start with Brock. Okay. Let's let's just start with 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 the main event. I see Brock, and I really think they're just gonna go ahead and give it to Reigns. So you see Brock as a champion? No. So then, it wouldn't be Reigns then. Okay. Reigns is going for the title, dude. Oh wait a minute. Okay. So, are they gonna do Cena Brock again and forget Reigns? Maybe they they don't think Reigns is ready either. So, I'm um, I'm I'm guessing it's going to be Cena and Reigns. Are you? I can see it happening. Do you see? I can't see Brock not being in Mania though. No, he's going to be in Mania. He's just not going to be in a match with the title on the line. I don't know, man. Who's he going to be against then? Um, I'd like. I'll tell you, well, you asked who I'd like to see. I wouldn't mind seeing a Brock Ryback. Yeah, I'd love to see that, but they wouldn't do that though. I mean, it's kind of it's really downgrading for being a champion, you know. I don't know. Ryback's been in a couple of main event. I mean, he, he he's had a main event push. It's not like it's you know working with Fandango or anything. Yeah, but Brock's last match against Ryback. That's kind of tough to digest. I don't. I don't know if I would be okay with that. But I don't know. I could see Brock against. I don't know. Like, uh, 
I, I don't know, man. It's it's just so hard to pick right now because they really don't have any direction. Supposedly they're going to start getting direction uh, on the first show of the year of next year, obviously. So I don't know, man. I, I, right now there's just no direction at all. Usually by now you start seeing a little bit of direction. You know what? It'll really depend on what happens at the Rumble next month. Yeah. I think by then we'll see a little more of a direction, but... Well, no shit, dude. I mean... <laughs> well, I'm just, <laughs> just saying by then they should have everything going. Right now, dude, it's 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 bullshit what they got. Uh, it's up in the air right now. I mean, right now, I would, you know... You, you ask me what I'd like to see? I'd like to see fucking Brock against Ryback. Ha! You asked. Brock and Ryback. You asked, I gave. What would you like to see, Shane? All right, well, if if if, if we're going to have Undertaker, are we going to have Undertaker and, and uh, Daniel Bryan back by then, do you think? So should I take that into consideration when I'm making up this card? Or? Daniel Bryan? Daniel Bryan and, and The Undertaker. Uh, I don't know, man. This is what you want to see, not what's going to happen. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a mix of both. Well... I'm 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 taking you know reality into, into consideration. And Daniel Bryan, when does he come back? I I mean I would think if he was back by say February, they would still try to shoehorn him into Mania. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, if he's back, you could put a uh, Brock against him, and I think that could be a really good match. Daniel Bryan and Brock. Yeah, absolutely. Ew. I would, dude. I would love that. Yeah, I think Brian's a little too small for that match. So was Punk. They had like the best match of the year. Yeah, but Punk. I mean, that's Punk. I mean, Punk is not greater than Brian in the ring as far as pulling out a good match out of a guy. Hmm. If Brock can have a good match with Punk, dude, he's having a good match with Brian. I don't have a doubt about it. Brian's just so little. Punk doesn't look as little as he is. Brian looks little. I don't know, man. They're the, they're the exact same thing to me. Maybe it's all the tattoos on Punk. Makes him look yeah, Maybe. Maybe the tattoos. That's what it is. That's why he's got them. <laughs> Probably. Kevin. Doesn't want to be a vanilla midget. Kevin in the chat room has the main event that he is dying to see. He said he'll pay money from wherever he's at to go see this. As long as Nikki Bella is in the main event. Awesome. Maybe we can get a rematch of uh, Stephanie McMahon against uh, Brie Bella. Oh, my God. Maybe. Oh, my God. That'll be good. Three-way dance, Nikki, Brie, and Stephanie. You're welcome, WWE. With Triple H as the special guest referee. You are welcome. And Shawn Michaels in, in Triple H's corner as the ref. And Kevin Nash sitting as a special ring announcer or fucking... Kevin Nash during quads being the timekeeper. There you go. <laughs> Fantastic. And then Vince McMahon comes out and tears both his quads. <laughs> Just walk into the ring. Ooh, quad, quad tears. Mm-hmm. Four quad. Got oh. triple quads. That could be, it'd be quad quads. There you go. I like that. Quad, quad. Well, I, I'd really like to see that, though, man. Brock and, and Daniel Bryan. I wouldn't mind seeing it in, in Roman Reigns. Put Undertaker and uh, Sting together. Um, who does that leave out? That leaves out Triple H, Dolph Ziggler, Bray Wyatt. Who? Who are you leaving out? Oh, my God. Who are you leaving out? The Vigilante Sting! I just I just said Sting against uh, Taker. <laughs> I know. I just thought. Oh, I, I forgot the vigilant. I'm sorry. That's what you left out. The vigilante oh, part. Yeah. I'm sorry. But I, 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 vigilante I, I, Sting against the dead man, the Undertaker. I think they're gonna do the vigilante against the uh, Bray Wyatt. Uh, I guess I don't know. Man. I get. I, I thought. I thought it was no man. It's gonna be Sting and, and Triple H if anything. Well, now they're saying he may he may be.
but oh, it was Sting. I don't know. Hey, you know, Wait, dude. I'm hold on, hold on one second. Repeat that because I didn't, I didn't catch any of that. I no, that I messed up. That's all that happened. I just misquoted something. Oh, okay. You know, yeah, I, I don't know, man. If anything, I see Sting against Taker or Sting against Triple H. I can't see anything else. I would like to see Sting against Taker. Yeah, absolutely. I I think it will be a good match, but. Mm-hmm. Does that bring the authority back? I don't know. See, that's 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 where it gets interesting at, because Cena is the only one that can bring him back. Ooh, the plot thickens. The plot does thicken, but Ooh. they'll drop the ball. Uh-huh. Ooh, <laughs> plot thickens. Yeah, I forgot to get my dramatic sound effect. But let's let's foreshadow a couple months. We'll be back to the same shit. <sighs> yeah, we will. But uh, I don't know, man. There's, there's, there's. I don't know. I'm just hoping it's going to be a good, a good mania. You know who I would like to see? I would like to see a uh, Triple H put over Dolph Ziggler. I mm-hmm. think that would be a really good match. I agree. I don't. There, see, there you go. I, hire me, man. I'm putting on a better card than them. Cena reigns. Undertaker and Sting. Yep. Daniel Bryan and Brock Lesnar. Dolph Ziggler and Triple H. Bray Wyatt against Luke Harper. That's what I would do. And then who does that leave out? Dean Ambrose, Seth Rollins, and Orton, which I'm sure he'll be back by then. Uh, triple, right? triple threat. So I would do Orton against Seth Rollins since they never really ended that uh, whole thing. Right. And that really leaves out Dean Ambrose, which is a major problem for him. Where did, where could we fit this guy at? Ambrose in the back banging Renee Young. True. True. There we go. No, in all seriousness, I mean, if, I guess if Daniel Bryan doesn't come back, I guess that's that's another open spot for somebody else. Is, but but you're not going to put Ambrose and Brock. No, no, no. But I'm I'm saying you know they can then they can start shuffling things around without making a triple threat or anything like that because he's he's really the odd one left out if Daniel Bryan and and Taker come back. Well, you're probably going to get Big Show somewhere in the Mania. Maybe maybe you get Ambrose and Big Show. <laughs> Ambrose and Big Show. There you awesome. go. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, si- no, we forgot Rusev. Rusev. Oh, God, Rusev. I don't, I, hey. Ambrose. Uh, uh, what? Go ahead. Ambrose and Rusev? I, I don't really want to see that. I don't think they would do that. No. Who would you want to see uh, Rusev against at Mania? And would you like to see the streak end? No, they need to keep his streak going for a little while. I think Mania is a good time to end it. They already unless, have... unless he's facing Cena. You know what? They had one big streak end last year. I don't think it should end at this Mania and end another streak. So, but it's not... Uh, you know, as big of a streak. It's not really. Yeah, and trust me, I'm not saying that Rusev's streak is anywhere close to the magnitude that Taker's was, but <laughs> yeah, uh, it just all you're gonna get is internet marks going. That's the same old shit they did last year. Yeah. So, I don't know, man. Whatever they want, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> well, you should give a fuck. You're gonna be watching it. Man, I'm just going to sit there puffing on my packs, drinking beer, watching Mania. I'm actually excited for Mania, though. I think I think it has a lot of potential, man. I mean, let's face it. I Honestly, I mean, last year's Mania was really good. And I think with all the stars we just named, I mean, those are literally, we just named like 10 top stars that they could possibly use. That's almost five main events, if not more. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's that sounds pretty promising. You could throw well, a threat in there if you had to. Throw who? You could throw a triple threat in there if you had to. Yeah. 
I mean, do something with Cesaro, goddammit. Please, man. Jesus. Oh, Cesaro, he'll be on the pre-show. He'll probably... uh, he won't even be on the pre-show. Are they going to do that Andre the Giant? That was supposed to be an annual thing. Yeah, they'll probably do it. Which is which is fine, because they already have... Like I said, honestly, let's count them. Brock, Cena, Seth Rollins, Roman Reigns, Dean Ambrose, Bray Wyatt, Triple H, Sting, Undertaker, and Luke Harper, if you want to count him as a top guy, and Dolph Ziggler. That's that's 11 guys. I don't know if I mentioned Daniel Bryan. I think I did. But that's 11 guys that are that could, you know, kind of main event. So that's a lot of matches, man. So, I mean, there's not much time left on the card. So they kind of have to do some kind of gimmicky thing with, like, a battle royal to kind of fit those guys in and get them a main event. I mean, a mania check. Mania yeah. payoff, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. But, yeah, I, I, I forgot that that uh, Andre the Giant thing was supposed to be an annual. Last year was the first annual. Let's see if they remember I yeah, st- hopefully. I still can't believe they did nothing with Cesaro after that. Absolutely nothing. They I, just took away the swing. The, why did? I mean, I I don't get it, man. I mean, everything that gets the guys over, they take away from them. The swing gets the guy over, take it away. Gone. Fandango's music gets him over, take it away. Why? I don't know. I don't get it. It's it's. I don't know. You know what though? Um, I think I think it would be, it's it's not about mania, more of a I I guess Royal Rumble, but uh, I would like to see them at Royal Rumble as far as the NXT guys. I mean, I think I think it'd be nice to you know throw a couple guys in there. Wait, I missed that. You locked up. You right at. I would like to see go. Uh, a couple NXT guys enter the Royal Rumble. Yeah. I would too. I, I think that's a good time to get a couple in there, and I could see. Well, speaking of NXT guys, looks like Monday on Raw we're gonna see the Ascension. Really? They said they're gonna be debuting next week. I guess you were. I guess you were napping. <laughs> I was. <laughs> but uh, go ahead, shoot, man. Let me know what you think of the Ascension, because I know a lot of people are uh, shitting on these guys, and they're getting a lot of hate. I saw them in NXT a few times. I, I like them. What I don't like is that their gimmick in NXT was kind of dark. This is going to be a very vague, strange reference, but kind of undertaker e Undertaker-ish, you know what I mean? Right, like gothic. Dark. Go- there you go. That That's the word I was looking for. God damn, lay off the weed. Um, it was dark. Now they're coming in like the Road Warriors. I mean, they're even wearing black and red vests without spikes. Dude, I, I know a lot of people don't like it. I'm really digging it. I, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for, like, you know, Road Warrior gimmicks and Ultimate Warrior gimmicks from the 90s and 80s. That's, uh, you know, it brings me back to my childhood. So I, I like it. You know, the, the smoke in the background. I know it's really cheesy. I know I make fun of, you know, all the cheesy shit they do. But, hey, with stuff like this, that I grew up on, it reminds me of, you know, the, the, the back in the day. Not that I'm that old or anything, but, you know, I, I like it, man. I, I don't really mind it. I like it, and I think they're going to be good. I just think it's a little weird how they switched them up, and they're obviously ripping off the Road Warriors. I mean... Oh, they definitely are. But, I don't know. I'm going I'm, I'm, to... I want to see how it plays out. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly glad to see anyone come in and freshen up the roster, honestly. Yeah, with the tag teams, man, they got the Ascension and they got uh, Cesaro and Tyson Kidd as a tag team now. So, yep, I'd like to see them uh, uh, get get more of a shot, but I don't know. Let's see. You know, the Ascension said they're gonna, they're going to be uh, debuting Monday, so let's see what happens. Yeah. But uh, what else? I was going to say something. Oh God, again? Oh yeah, I'm sorry. But uh, Royal Rumble, uh, we we're talking about NXT guys. The only guy that I don't see coming out at the Royal Rumble as far as an NXT guy is uh, Finn Balor. No. They are going to save him. Yeah. Uh, his his first uh, you know, like actual WWE debut 
they have to do that whole entrance. And with Royal Rumble, they, they can't do that. So I, that's that's one guy I don't see them using. If they're smart, they're going to use Kevin Owens because, you know, obviously Kevin Steen was, was big on the indies around the New York and Philly area, so that would get a big pop. But then again, I don't know if they really want a pop out of that. Do you really heal him in the Rumble this early? Well, dude, why not? They're gonna they're gonna push these guys fast, man. Especially him. I don't think they're gonna do it. He's already in the in the title picture for NXT. Exactly. I think he'll that they may push him to see where how far he can go and see what what happens. But you know what they do to these fucking indie guys, man. They 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 kill them. They kill them in NXT for a while. Well, speaking of that, have you heard of the new gimmick that they're gonna give Adrian Neville? Oh, wait a minute. Let me. Poor guy. Let me prepare myself. Please do, because it's it's. Tell me, it's gonna be an elf. It's not. Ah, fuck. It's not. It, it's it's worse. He's got the ears. It's worse. Okay, go ahead. I'm ready. Well, they didn't really like, you know, reveal exactly what it is. But they said it's it's similar to Mighty Mouse. Let that sink in, please. Here I come to save the day. Mighty fucking mouse. Um, how do you? Uh, wait a minute. How? Oh. Uh, Just because he's like a little guy, I guess he's gonna be like flying around, and so he's gonna be a high flying John Cena. Yeah, pretty much, but as a mouse. <laughs> what if he? What if he actually comes out like you know how uh, they got the bunny and shit? <laughs> he comes out as the fucking mouse with a cape. Right now I'm thinking that it comes out a cape, fucking gold. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. One of the one of the you know most talented guys put him in a fucking mouse suit. Wow. I, it would not Where did you read the prize, man, dude? They're probably going to punish these guys for being too good and showing off. Hello? I'm here. Wh wh where did you hear that? <laughs> no, I didn't hear that from anywhere. It's just my opinion. I just think oh. WWE is going to be pissed at these guys for showing off at the NXT Revolution and uh, making it harder for the for the TLC pay per view to to kind of be this you know spectacular hardcore event you know with all this action going on you know recently people have been doing NXT chants during like the boring matches they're probably you know you know how WWE works man they're fucking weird they they have their own like uh, fucking philosophy on everything and they just they're stubborn they have these ways and they have to get people back and even if it's their own and, and it doesn't benefit them it actually hurts them <laughs> they do that shit but uh, I can see these guys getting deep pushed and just getting shitted on just because uh, just because they were too good yeah punishing the viewers there you go there you go but have you heard about this like uh I didn't. I didn't read the article, but I'm. Sh I'm sure you probably. Ah, you locked up. What was that? No, you. I, you locked up in the middle of that. Yeah, but uh, I didn't. I didn't read this uh, article, but I'm. Sh I'm sure you probably did because it's. Uh, it's one of the bigger articles in the last couple of weeks. It was about like uh, this. This whole thing with like the, you know Cena talking to the locker room when there's like this like some kind of silence going on against like. Vince McMahon and people are defending Triple H and they want him. You know the roster wants him to take over. Please enlighten me if if you have any more information on this because yeah, I I uh, we talked about this last week. I read it. Oh, okay, well please enlighten me again because I'd, I'd I'd like to know a little bit more about this. Did you forget we talked about this last week? I did absolutely. Damn Shaheen. Well, dude. <laughs> We've done like 23 shows, man. They're like three hours each. That's a lot of material already. Can't nice. expect you to remember everything. I can. Although it was last week. It was last week. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, now you're going to make me try to find the fucking article. No, no, no. no just, just, just give me a summary. Just basically, what do you remember? I don't, I don't need you to read me the article. Basically what it said was 
Cena held a meeting that, and because he had heard that there was basically a silent protest going on, you know, and because people are starting to want Triple H and get to get Vince out of there. But what, that's what I mean. What do they mean by silent protest going on in the locker room? Not what working. Are they doing? I don't get it because all that's going to hurt is you. It's not going to hurt Vince. No, but literally, what are they doing? Are they just like avoiding Vince? Like, are they just no, not but working as well in the ring? To what they're saying, not working as well in the ring. I guess. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> that's weird, man. I don't get it. Although I would like to see Triple H take over. I mean, clearly, if he was in charge of NXT, and that's that's the product that we got. And that was the outcome. I'm I'm happy with that. Give me more, please. I mean, according to what you know, but but I read, he is in charge of it. So, well, give me more. Uh, Triple H. Uh, ah, Triple H. For the new year, uh, we just want more. Uh, Triple H. Uh. Hell yeah! Next week, bro, is the last. Raw of this year. Yes, sir. Shit. I just heard shit. How do you think Raw's going to be next week, since it's the last one of the year? Um, Probably pretty bad, because they're probably not going to draw a lot of viewers. Yeah, I figured um, that. I'm guessing it's probably going to be really slow. Repetitive matches, um, but I think you know Christian and, and Edge are definitely going to you know uplift the show as far as you know, entertainment value. Nice. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, Edge and Christian. Are, uh, we talked about that. Yeah, they're going to be there, so hopefully it'll be a good show, man. And um, I don't know, man. I'm going to check more news right now. I'll tell you what, though. It was really odd seeing uh, this week's Raw because it was literally just TLC. S, um, and I just did you know air quotes. But, uh, yeah, it was it was just rematches from from TLCS, and it wasn't just one or two. It was three rematches, like the main three matches you got at TLCS. You just got it again at Raw. You got Seth Rollins and Cena. You got Bray Wyatt and uh, Dean Ambrose, and you also got uh, Luke Harper and and Ziggler. Yeah, you basically. Just don't have to watch the pay-per-views. You'll get them for free the next night. And you pretty much got it the week before also. You know, <laughs> you had the rematch of uh, Cena and, and, and Rollins again after yeah. the pay-per-view. So it's like, I don't know. There's a serious 50 booking, on, booking going on with those two, man. Yeah. One win. They, they, they work well together, though. I, I, like the, I like the chemistry. I think Cena's not, not great with everyone, but with uh, Rollins, they, they work well together. Yeah, he definitely seems to have a good chemistry with Rollins. Yeah. But, um, although that could be a lot of Rollins. Yeah, I mean, to his credit, I mean, he's 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 decent in the ring. Cena, it's just he doesn't have too many moves, but the few that he does is all right, I guess. But I just, I hate the guy's personality, man. I just hate the gimmick. I'm tired of him. It's not so much that I, you know, think he's he's such a shitty wrestler, which he, he also is kind of. Let's see, see what happens with Cena. When I try to put him over, I shit on him at the same time. It's just like... Yeah, I know. That's what I'm so organic to me. Oh, man. Positive, 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 negative, 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 It's like my brain wants to compliment him, but my, my body just, just refuses. My mouth just, just clicks, and it just doesn't let those words pop out. That guy had a great match. What a piece of shit. Yeah, yeah I mean... <laughs> You know, to his credit, he had a great match this week. But I mean, what a fucking boring guy! What a piece of shit! What, <laughs> will he retire already? But I mean, yeah, it was it was a good match though. It was a good match. But goddamn, I hate that guy. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that was that was this week, and I just spilled my coffee again. God damn it! <laughs> you did not. Yeah. God damn it. Well, do you want to talk about anything else before we get out of here? Um, I guess we could make this an early show. Yeah, I mean, there, I mean, I'm down to go as long as you want, but there's not much else that I can think of to talk about. We've been, as far as I'm concerned, we've been stretching this for the last 30 minutes. We've been stretching this for the last hour. 
Okay. If you really want to get serious, <laughs> you're right. I don't know. I mean, I was looking at it's, it's it's really slow in wrestling during these times, you know. I was looking at news for a little while. There's nothing. Uh, there's some stuff about the King Kong Bundy interview, but uh, you should listen to that. We're not going to talk about it. You should listen to it. Trust me. It was a very good interview. Yeah, check it out. It's good stuff. Yeah, definitely check that out. Look at us promoting Stone Cold Podcast. We, we I mean, we promote everybody. <laughs> God damn it. Swig a beer for Stone Cold. Austin 316 says I just whipped your ass. Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Yeah! Um, there you go, man. I don't know. Now I'm checking out. Let me just check out the old Facebook. See, the, I, um, we talked about that. Uh, we talked about that. We talked. Why are you finding this stuff? I, uh, I was off work yesterday, so I enjoyed myself, and I uh, made my nine ninety nine worth its money with the WWE Network. Then I had a marathon of uh, ECW television. Year uh, 1994, and I highly recommend it, man. I don't know. Did you watch ECW around then? Um, I got into ECW a little bit late. Like but what year? Like around what time? You want me to remember what year? I mean, well, who was around? Give me, give me that. Give me a couple people that were around, and okay. I can probably guesstimate what year it was. Uh, Benoit and everybody was already gone. All right, so it was past 95. Past 95. I want to say, I want to say like 98, 99 probably. All right, was Bam Bam Bigelow around? I think Bam Bam might have been gone. Uh, That's probably 99-ish then. It was 99. I, 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 that's probably accurate. Yeah, there we go, man. You see how, you see how professional we are? How accurate we are. You see how long how it goes down. Out, how, what fucking year it was. There you go. My the those the 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 see that would have been me in my twenties and I don't remember much of my twenties. I bet you don't. I'm I I remember very little in my thirties. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, God bless you. That's right. God. Damn it. But uh Dude, if if you get some time over over the break, which you probably won't, to check out some random shit, dude, check out some ECW from '94, '95, and '96. I mean, it's I, like I I don't know, man. I just I like certain wrestlers, and it seemed like they had all of my favorites in the same promotion doing something special. Because when you watch it at the time, and you watch a couple episodes in a row, you really see them grow. You know, within those couple of episodes, I don't know. It's really, it's, it's really interesting seeing them push that you know envelope and and re you know kind of they're they're more edgy by the week because it started out as Eastern Championship Wrestling. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's really cool stuff. So check it out if you get some time, man. They got some stuff with the Steiner Brothers, Cactus Jack, Kevin Sullivan, Eddie Gilbert, Jimmy Snuka. You name it, man. They're on there. Are you talking about the TV shows? Yeah, yeah, ECW TV. Okay. I have all of the ECW TV. I do. Check it all out, man. And I have all their pay-per-views. So I, 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 I sh- I, I've honestly wanted to sit and watch ECW from the one, the first show to the end. But I don't know. I can't bring myself to do it. Well, sit around. They're about 40 minutes each. Sit around and watch an episode or two in a row and, and, and see how you like it. Start out with like 94. That's a good year to start. Well, I was gonna, just going to start at the beginning. I, I, I was going to do it about a month ago, and then I was looking, and somehow I ended up watching the original 21 Jump Street. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, honestly, the beginning was really bad. You don't, you don't want to watch the first couple episodes. I I like to, just just to go in order. I I would do it if if I watch a TV show. That's how I do it. I watch one to the end. Yeah, but it's 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 really weird, man. Like literally, all my favorite wrestlers from the independents or the hardcore scene, which I really enjoyed. Like before, like CZW and all that stuff. You know, like the actual like hardcore scene, like with you know just Abdullah and Terry Funk and you know Sabu and all them doing that stuff. 
and you know everybody was up there, man. From Eddie Gilbert to Snuka to you know you name it, there they went up there. Our, What's that? Our, our chat room's upset with you, man. They don't understand all the Cena hate. They think he's a great wrestler. Jesus Christ. They 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 just they don't get it. Well, I I don't know if we're watching the same fucking product. This guy could wrestle his way out of a hundred paper bags. I bet he could. Mo, uh, I mean, just they love him. They just don't understand it. Yeah, he could he could rip all all, all the fucking paper bags with his fucking steroid ass. <laughs> Roid rage. rage. <laughs> you remember that 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 commercial? Rage, rage, steroid rage, right there for you, man. He's he's hinting at it. Probably. He's subliminally telling you. That's the steroid rage kicking in. Kicking in. That's when he's going to go heal. When the steroid right. rage kicks in. Yeah, right. That uh, guy is the biggest heel in the world, man. That guy is a heel. I'm telling you, if you watch he's him on... food by everybody. If you watch him on Total Divas, you would think he was a heel. The guy's a dick. He's he serious. Really he re no, he really is. Yeah, I, I watched the first uh, two seasons, and he really was a dick on the first two. So, God, he, and he treats his woman like hell, dude. Yeah, she tried to cook for him, and he gets pissed. I know he's like, what, 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 what the fuck, what the fuck you doing? I, the, 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 this, this is a kitchen. Why are you cooking in the kitchen? Man, it's it's not. A, he's he's just so weird about it, cause he tries to like make her feel like like she's an idiot for even. You know, making an attempt to cook, he just like gives her like those like really awkward looks and just like, okay, you're cooking. And... I didn't realize you were so OCD. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like, why are you like this, dude? Show the fuck out. He's crazy. This is what people do in the kitchen. They they cook. You know, why are you hanging stuff on my walls? Cause that's what people kind of do. They you know, typically don't live in just just a white house with. All white, everything, just as bare as you can get, you know. Yeah, I got a feeling if that guy wasn't doing what he was doing and traveling, he would be stuck in his house cleaning it every day. It's pretty much what I do. I'm like, I'm like OCD, like hell, man. He he's not like that guy though. No, that was creepy. He is creepy, dude. He's you don't find it creepy that this guy gets booed every fucking day of his life and he's and, and he doesn't make a wish the next day and he's completely fine with that? You don't think it's 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 kind of creepy how he's pushed as the main guy and everybody hates him? I mean, I'm going to go ahead and say this, man. And this is I mean, I know people have said this before, but I think they do it more than ever now. I think that they uh they edit edit the the sound when when this guy comes out, man, because you can tell that this guy gets a lot more booze than than it comes out in, in your television set. I mean, you listen to it with the headphones on, so you tell me. But oh, there's probably cheering in his music. A lot of the um, yeah, I mean that's that's why I'm so interested to, to go to the Royal Rumble. I'm gonna try to get some footage from my uh from my uh phone or whatever. And get like the act because I know they're gonna do the you know John Cena sucks. I know they're gonna do that. So I just I just want to get that on camera and compare. I know it's gonna be much louder on my phone, obviously, because I'm there in person. But I just I just want to kind of you know evaluate it for myself and and, and compare it to what comes off on, on, on the network and see if they actually do kind of you know plug some plug some edited cheers in there and all that shit, which I'm sure they do. Here's a good question from our chat room. What's that? We could talk about this for a minute or two, probably more than that. Kevin, say Cena does turn heel, and he comes out and breaks out an NWO shirt. Who else would be in the NWO with Cena? Oh, man. That's a, that is a good question. That is a very good question. Um... I don't know, dude. I mean, oh, honestly, man. I would. Yeah, you tuned out for a second, but uh, do you want to go I'll first, just... or you want me to go first? No, go ahead. Honestly, I would start out with uh, this is gonna be weird, but you, you know, NWO started with three people, right? Right. My my first three, and you know, you have to have an NWO original, or else it's just gonna be weird, right? 
Wait, you cut out for a second. I said you you have to have an NWO original in 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 the group to bring it back, or else it'd just be kind of weird and awkward if just Cena brings it back. He has no relation with the NWO. Right. So I would bring in Hogan. Since he was talking with Hogan the other night, that would right. make. I would bring in Hogan, and it's it's actually putting him to use rather than just plug your shit. And it's interesting. It it gives him a good send off, on on a good note. Other than just coming in to do you know. WWE plugs and, and Santa Claus and all this bullshit. So I would put Hogan, Cena, and you have to put another top guy. I would put Triple H. He brings back the authority, and this is the new authority, NWO. New Ooh. World Order. There you go. Makes sense, too. Ooh, that could be... Damn, Shaheen just brought it to real world. And, you know, you, you, you get it, the WWE Universe, New World Order... They're they're the new order in the in the WWE universe. Yeah, it makes perfect sense, man. They've been calling, saying that the WWE has no order lately. There you go, man. Look it at it all makes sense. God damn, man. What if they're doing that? That's that's so good. They should do that. God damn, they should. What if they don't? That would actually be interesting, man. Triple H, Hogan, and, and Cena, and then they can add some other guys into it. Like that would actually be nice. Yeah, that's fucking that, dude. I don't even think I could. I couldn't even come up with a better angle than that right there, right now. Yeah, uh, that w- I mean, that would be interesting. And you could, you know, I mean, during the NWO age, man, how many wrestling fans were there at at, at, at the peak? I think there was right around like ten million, right? I, at least, yeah. Yeah, I mean, how many of those fans are watching now? Like three million. They lost seven million, and if they bring back NWO. I think a lot of those fans would probably give it another shot. And if you got Cena, Triple H, and, and Hogan, chances are it's probably going to be good. If if you you know they're not going to probably script them as much, they'll let them off the leash a little bit, and I think it'll be good. Yeah, definitely. Our chat room's throwing out some people who they would throw in. Just you know, the, the, basically he was talking throw in uh, Cesaro, maybe Rowan. I would I wouldn't put Eric Rowan in there. That'd be weird. But Cesaro would be good. Ryback. Good Ryback. Roman, get him to shut the fuck up and just be the muscle. Yeah. You could put him in there. So, someone brought. You could put pretty much anybody in there. Seth Rollins. All these guys would be good. You know, you really. You know, Ambrose would be really good. You know, you you're you you've got a good thing going there because you could take a lot of the guys right now that are doing. Nothing, and you could put them on TV in a fucking hell of a role, and you could bring NXT guys up through there too. Yeah, wow, I mean, dude, it would it would be gold, man. I think this this might be the most interesting thing I've heard coming up in wrestling. I hope somebody makes this happen, dude. That is like the most, pre- and you know what? Even if you let. let, let since you know, since we're doing this, even if you took Cena out, you could still do this with three other guys. Yeah, absolutely. And, and this could, this would actually elevate a lot of the guys if 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 used properly, and and you don't you know end up being the old NWO with twenty five members. Right. Right. Yeah. And then you know don't don't split off a fucking wolf pack or anything. Don't yeah. Do we don't want to see Curtis Axel come out as an NWO guy, like a Virgil, or you know, we don't need that. Dude, I'm telling you now, I could, if I saw the an, an NWO start again, I would fucking love it. That would be amazing, especially especially with those three, man. Those three would actually work really well. Cena would be the ideal one to start that with, just because it would no one would ever see it coming. It would be like probably one of the biggest swerves ever. Well, no, I mean, Hogan has to convince him. You know, Hogan, you know, he has this relationship with him now. You see him every time he's putting him over, and you know he, he you know, he's he's basically, Hogan is, you know, technically working for Triple H, right? Right? I think you tuned out. Are you there? I'm here, go ahead. All right, well, I said Hogan is is, is technically working for Triple H, correct? Right. In, in real life. So, Triple H needs to come back, right? And 
and to do so, you know, Cena has to basically invite him back and, and, and give him give him the right away to come back. So basically what Triple H does is convince Hogan, which is one you know, a mentor to John Cena is pretty much the same fucking guy over again. Um, he convinces him to kind of tell him to, 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 you know, bring Triple H back and they'll have more power than ever and, you know, trust him because Hogan's been in the same position. He's been this, you know, goody goody two shoe you know, face the face of the company for 10 years, and then, you know, he turned heel, and, you know, imagine all the success you'll get. I mean, they could, they, it could be gold, man. I mean, it all makes sense. And then, you know, Hogan convinces him to turn heel, and then they bring back Triple H, and then we find out that Triple H put Hogan up to it, and, and they're the new NWO. They get some new people coming in, you know, maybe bring in, you know, debut uh, Kevin Owens as, 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 as a member of NWO. I think he'd be, he'd be tremendous as a NWO guy. Very, very good he would be. Yeah, definitely. You know what? Perfect guy to put in NWO. Kenta, when you debut that guy, because you don't have shit else to do with that guy. You don't want him to just, you know, drown in that in that pool of full of uh, guys out there, you know? I think that could drown him, though, being in a, a, a big group like that right away. Well, you don't make it too big. Make him, like the, make him like the fourth or fifth member, you know? You have to come in early to do anything in that group, but... Right. That's what I'm saying. Fourth or fifth member. Yeah, don't have. I would say you could only have like six or seven at the most in there. Right. Yes, yeah, six or seven is a is a perfect number. Yeah, I miss stables like that, dude. I would love to see one come back. Like one one person I wouldn't want to see in there is like somebody like Dolph Ziggler. I think he would ruin NWO. Yeah, and it, it, well, yeah, he doesn't look like it. nah nah. Like I I I'd, I would like to see Hogan. Triple H, John Cena, Ryback. Ryback would be good. Reigns would be. Um, I still think Reigns would be good in some. I, I would. I would actually put Reigns against the NWO. You could do. I would, that. Just, I would yeah. put those three. I would put Ryback. I would put Kenta, just to help out the guy. And I would put. Uh, I would probably debut Kevin Owens and maybe add like Ambrose and Seth Rollins or you know just a couple more guys in there. I think it'd be really good, man. It could be good stuff. Nice. That could be fucking good. What a what a way to to bring bring a good topic back. Thank you, Kevin Redler. We just yeah. we're, we 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 might be sitting on gold and we don't even know it. I think we are sitting on gold. This, this could save wrestling, folks. This Dude. could honestly, we could bring back millions of 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 viewers to to watch wrestling again if they if this is you know if this is done properly. What happened? Dude, I'm serious. What would happen if we sent that in the WWE? I don't know, man. They'll, they'll probably shut it down and steal it in like two years. Damn, that would be a good fucking angle, man. They can just have it, man. I don't even just have it. Just make it happen. Please. Do you really something interesting, man. Jesus. Turn, that could turn the whole show around, man. Like, almost instantly. Yeah, it could be good, man. Man, could be really good. Yeah, that would honestly turn the whole company around. It could be. I think it could turn the whole fucking That's company big enough to turn the whole company around. Especially if they did it the way. Well, Cena turning heel would turn the company around. And anyway. not as much as bringing a whole clique of guys, man. That would that would be something crazy. That's what I was getting to. But bringing in the NWO again would fucking just drive it home, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I think it could be really, really good stuff, man. Holy shit, man. They could, I mean, like I said, bring in Kenta, man. They could have, like, Hogan do a backstage segment, you know, with uh, Kenta saying, you know, you remember what I promised you in Japan when we first signed you? You know, I told you I was going to support you. Here's your time. You know, join us and, you know, shit like that. They could work a bunch of stuff, man. Yeah, they could. I would just worry it would, it would, it would WCW itself and grow too big, but no, nah, I just I, that's that's the thing though. They, I just hope they wouldn't do that and have it branch off to NXT and have a different gang in NXT and all that stuff. Yeah, that would be nice, man. They should definitely do that. They just I I really miss big stables like that. Yeah, definitely, man. I do. I've I've always liked shit like that, and I mean it. it they should do something to make a comeback. I mean, what stable do we have now? 
New Day? Well, we had the authority, which was complete shit. <coughs> that wasn't a stable. That was a fucking a, 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 a semi-retired wrestler in Triple H. The owner, Stephanie, principal owner, a, a, a fucking guy who should be retired in a in a pair of slacks cane. No, it was it was a stable. It wasn't a fucking stable. Yeah, it was Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, Kane. It was uh, a Joey Matthews and and that other guy and fucking Triple H and Steph. Joey Matthews. <laughs> you mean Joey Mercury? Joey Mer whatever his name is. <laughs> That's the thing. Yeah. I don't even remember that guy, man. It gives a shit. I liked I Jamie used to like Noble. Jamie. I liked him. I I never liked Jamie Noble. I know he was like the first Ring of Honor champ. I don't give a shit, man. Was he? Yeah. Really? I think so. I never knew that. Ask somebody in the chat room. They don't. These the, the, our chat room don't know shit. <laughs> chat room. That is not me shitting on you guys. This this guy right here. They know I'm fucking around. Yeah, we're just fucking around. Hey. We're just fucking around. Fucking yeah. around. See, the, the whole chat room likes Jamie Noble. You're the only one. Yeah, I, yeah. Maybe Nydia ruined it for me. I don't know. Nydia? I like Nydia, too. She's she sucked. Oh, come on, man. Are you kidding me? What? What was good about her? She wasn't attractive. She wasn't a good wrestler. She wasn't a good talker. She wasn't a good manager. She wasn't even a good kisser. What was good about her? You kissed her? No, but I mean, you saw it on, on television. I mean, you could tell. Like, everything was bad about her, man. She was like cross-eyed. and. Ugh. I, I I always liked Noble. I was not happy when Seamus gave him the his finish, his the Celtic cross to the uh, to the fucking mat. Yeah, I, I don't remember that. I, I, you, do you remember that? No, I wasn't watching. No. Oh, okay. Yeah, he. Seamus is who took him out, retired him. Awesome. It was. You should have seen Seamus, you dick. You should have seen the movie. Took it was fucking brutal. I bet. How do you feel like? How awkward is it to be Seamus and this guy backstage, like working together for years? Like, that's got to be awkward, right? Seamus just did his job, man. Well, no. obviously not, not correctly. No, 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 no. He didn't. First on his own. I didn't catch any of that. You tuned out. Oh, I, I don't think he hurt Noble. I think Noble legit wanted to retire on his own. Oh, I thought I thought I was under the impression that he he hurt the guy and he couldn't wrestle anymore. He didn't. He didn't. Uh, <laughs> he didn't draw as the. No, no. Noble legit wanted to retire, as far as I I know. Yeah, I can't blame him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So, when, you're, when you're the hit guy making out with Nydia daily on, man, I would hate that. I'd retire too. I thought him and Jimmy Wang Yang were hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Boy, if I could only reach the sound effects from here, <laughs> I'd play the crickets. <laughs> yeah, I'd wear, I'd rather watch like Kai and Ty against the fucking. I and I, indeed, <laughs> indeed. Yeah, that was so weird. <laughs> yeah, like an Arn. <laughs> Jesus, man. That was bad stuff. God, that was bad. <laughs> like John Cena says, that was BS. Yeah, that was bad stuff. Bad stuff. <laughs> Look how corny do you have to be? Dude, I mean, oh my gosh! Even even remembering that just pisses me off. How do you go on television and say, hey, "You know that is BS," and then pause for a couple of seconds, and that stands for bad stuff? Oh, you fucking cornball! Well, you can't let the kids see you were cursing, dude. It's PG. It's not rated G, man. They can say BS. They're not saying bullshit. It's like, it's just, I don't know. 
said last night he was going to shove a neon shoe up his ass. Exactly, and he was saying that Seth Rollins does have testicles and all this shit, and then one week he comes out and, you know, bad stuff, and one week he said BS again, and he's like, you know, that stands for Britney Spears. Like, dude, Britney Spears hasn't been around since 1999. I know. Don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Although I think she's on the cover of a magazine, and she's looking good again. Is she? Last time I saw her, she was bald, so I don't know. Oh, she's hot again. Um, she's one of those the chicks that was overrated, too. Oh, dude. Of course. Of course. Let's not get into Britney Spears talk. It was better than Raw, probably. <laughs> That's going to really be stretching the show. If we start to- <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Put it in the description. And we talked about Britney Spears. <laughs> Wrestling was so bad, we decided uh, Britney Spears was more interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I can put Britney Spears in the hashtags. I'll, I'll, I'll yeah. I'll the meta tags, whatever you want to say. I'll put her in the tags, not a problem. Uh, nice. <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> oh, man, we should be ashamed of that. No, oh, fuck it. Ooh, we've been going exactly three hours, though. We did make it three hours. Nice, nice. So, 10.06, it's exactly three hours. Was that yours or mine? That was yours, probably. Oh, I didn't even realize I had the sound on. Hold on, my Facebook... Bastard. Oh, I didn't realize my Facebook was still open. I apologize for the Facebook sounds. You bastard. I know, I'm just an asshole. Let's see. Did I have any news in our news? Let's see. Wrestling news. Has there four in there? Any of these worth talking about? Any of the what? The news I sent here. Oh. Oh, uh, I... A very popular tag team did politely turn down WWE. Oh, yeah. Um, the Young Bucks were offered a tryout at the um, the week-long camp that WWE had. And they politely said no. Do you think they shook their hands and then said no? Well, they better have shaken hands with someone. I hope they shook hands with Booker T. Yeah, I hope so. Otherwise, we're gonna hear it on the. Uh, we'll hear it on the on the dirt sheets. If you know, you will. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I don't blame them, man. They're doing well. I mean, they're they're making good money in New Japan. They're touring, doing. Ring of Honor, all the indies, they're getting good money. They're doing whatever the fuck they want. They're having fun. They don't want to have any restrictions. They don't want to tone it down. You know, they're they're having so much fun doing the super kick, you know, the super kick gimmick. That's the first thing they're gonna drop as soon as they go. They don't want to go. I understand. Why would and and they've been down this road before, and we just talked about what happened. Oh, they didn't shake a hand. Why would you want to even go back? Exactly. I mean, yeah, I, I, they were, you know, wh- why would you even want to go back if, uh, I, I don't get it. And I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not really sticking up for them. I'm sure they were, you know, they well, weren't, they're, uh, you can tell they're not the most polite guys. I mean, they're young, they're like 24, they don't give a shit, they have all the success and money. You know, they're, they're cocky little bastards, but at the same time, I mean, they're really good in the ring, and that's what I'm judging them off of. I don't have a personal relationship with them, so I don't really care. But, uh, yeah, I understand why the WWE didn't sign them because they weren't polite. But at the same time, it's like I understand why they don't want to go there because it's not their style. They're having fun. They're doing what they want to, you know, and, and they're successful right now. So why would you jeopardize that for, for, you know, maybe a little bit more money? I mean, it seems like the guys, some guys on WWE aren't making much more. I mean, a lot of the guys on the indies, like, you know, look at AJ Styles. He's making more money now than he was with TNA. Look at you know Del Rio. He's probably making the same amount, and he's yeah, and he's happier. Look at CM Punk, you know. So, I mean, I'm I'm sure the Young Bucks are doing well. You know, if anything, they'll probably be making the same amount of money at WWE. So, yeah, probably. New Japan's probably paying them well, and you know Ring of Honor. They're taking shows. You know, I'm sure they're doing well. I'm sure they are. Let's see what else is in here. I'm sure they are doing well, but I I. I can totally see why they would turn them down. Again, they went down this road. But it's kind of, I mean, the Briscoes always turn them down too because they've been down this road and they're going to get a no. Do they really? I'm Yeah. They, they, they've had the same story about them like a year ago that they said they, you know, that they, they kind of 
tryout, and they said no because WWE already told them once they weren't cosmetically pleasing. You know, I, I know it wouldn't elevate the, the Briscoes at all to do this, but I would personally like to see this. If the Briscoes were going to come to the WWE, have them debut as the, as the new Wyatts with Bray Wyatt. I think that would be awesome. But it, they don't necessarily need it because they can get over on their own. But yeah. I just think that would be cool. It would be a good, easy, like, write itself kind of story. I agree with you. Yeah, it's an easy transition to the you know WWE platform. Something that they're used to, just a little bit toned down. It's Shaheen just writing the show. I know, man. I'm, I'm better than Vince Russo, man. Give me my own show. Well, uh, you're not taking over a. a... What was that? You, you tuned out for a second. Oh, I noticed. I said you're not taking over a wrestling company in the UK, are you? You never know, man. I got. You never know. I might be taking over a. Wrestling company and, and fucking knows. Are you taking over a wrestling company and not telling me? I'm, I'm taking over the wrestling world, man. Oh hell yeah, taking the wrestling world. I oh swear. hell yeah. Ooh, I forgot. Nobody at my house. I can yell. I can scream. There you go, man. They scare my dog. There you go. Yeah, man. We're taking over the wrestling world. Let us book everything. All right, we locked up again. No big deal. Now you're back. Yeah, it's it's the internet, man. What are we going to do? Unless you're sitting beside me, it's going to happen. It is the internet. It is the internet. Damn you, the internet. Damn the internet, and I'm not moving to Philly. It's too goddamn cold. Actually, this year it's been really nice, but uh, compared to Texas, yes, it's very cold. It's been the same. It's been kind of nice here. It was. Yeah, it's, it's really nice right now. It's going to be almost. Uh, it's going to be in the high sixties on uh, on Christmas Day here. Nice. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't know if I would like that. Actually, I wouldn't like that. I. I. Dude, I'm used to Christmas in Florida. It's. I love it. No, I would hate that, man. I need. I need like snow and shit for Christmas. Snow. No. No. Nah, snow is awesome. Snow can suck my fucking cock. Uh, it would shrivel up. It's it's cold. Fine. <laughs> Fine. I can't stand. I hate. I do not like cold weather. First of all, I'm kind of skinny. You know that. You've seen you've seen me. I'm a little skinny, so I don't have much weather cushion. And I spent 16 years in South Florida. Man, my blood is thin. Hey, man. They 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 sell North Faces. Hey, man. Listen, I don't like jackets. Who, who doesn't like jackets? You know why I don't like jackets? Who says that? I don't like jackets. Because you got to bundle up in the winter, and then you go into somewhere, and it's hotter than hell, so you got to take all your fucking shit off because you start to you break sweat in cold weather. You're fucked. Yeah, so it is a lot of baggage, yeah. Is and then oh, I'm going back outside. I better bundle the fuck back up. I got to put my shit back on. God. Damn, I'm tired even fucking thinking about it. <sighs> the worst part about it is when you're running when you're running late for uh, like work or something, and you have to like defreeze your your whole fucking car. The the windshield is just completely frozen. Yeah, and that's 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 probably the worst part. Well, yeah, I mean, luckily I can never run late for work, but yeah, I mean, I mean, the worst I can do is get there after I tell someone I'm going to. But what are they gonna do? Fire me? There you go, man. <laughs> there you go. I Bows. wish you would. Box man is a boss. I wish they would fire my motherfucking ass, but they won't. I wish a motherfucker would. Well, put your motherfucking hands on me, boss. No, I, I, I've, I've begged him to fire me a couple of times. Amazing. He begged to be fired. <laughs> Don't ask to fire me. I have. I'm like CM Punk. No, I've literally taunted him. Go ahead, fire me. I mean, it's my dad. What's he gonna do? <laughs> yeah. We'll fire you. This is why I end up driving trucks and shit, though. I think event. I sometimes I do think I get punished by doing warehouse work. Probably. I, I would probably do that to you if you, ah, you know, beg to be fired. 
Like, all right, well, I can't fire you. Yeah. Yeah, but this is a weird season, though. Some of our accounts get super busy, and some of them get super slow. Depends on if you're seasonal or not. Right. A lot of my customers were slow, so they asked for help in the warehouse, and we had a bunch of guys on vacation, so why not, right? Yeah, at least you get a lot of podcast time. Yeah, I've literally listened to more podcasts than I've ever listened to. I've, I'm, I mean, there was a time last week where I had zero podcasts in the bank, and I was pissed off. Yeah. Yeah, I had to go to iHeartRadio and listen to the Love Doctors in Florida. iHeartRadio. Yeah, you've never heard of that app? I have. Sounds really lame, though, just like the name. It does, but actually it's a good app. Basically, it's it's real radio stations that you can yeah. get on there. The the station I listened to is a station 94.3. It's out of Florida. It's right it's out of Palm Beach actually, South Florida. But I used to listen to them every day when I was down there and I found them on iHeartRadio. So I listen to them whenever I can. It's a fucking great show. It's called The Love Doctors. Well, good for you, goddammit. I just don't... Good for you. I'm just a talk radio kind of... I bet you... You sound like you should be hosting a talk radio show. It's just... I'm just a talk radio guy. I've always liked talk radio. You should be hosting them, man. Do the stripper voice. I... <laughs> I could do the. Uh, I could do. I, I'd be more of a morning zoo guy. A morning zoo guy. More of a morning zoo kind of guy. I could kind of get the voice up there, puke it out. Oh, hey, do it this morning. Hey, call in with your favorite ice cream. <laughs> Sound like Goofy. See, that's. Have you not heard a morning show? I have. I try to avoid them. And then their voice goes deep. Golly, with your favorite ice cream, we're definitely going to get it on the air for you. <laughs> that is exactly what they do. <laughs> God damn it, man. It's not that I practice, but, uh... That is exactly what they do, though. But, yeah, I, I try to avoid them because uh, they, they pretty much ruin your whole day. Like, first thing, you go in your car, you hear this hyper-ass guy. And I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a morning person at all. So just, just imagine me sitting in a car, and, and this guy comes on the radio, and yeah. Yeah, and then there's, you know, the, there, there's always the girl who tries to rein him in and keep him, oh. Now, guys, let's not make fun of people. I'm sorry there, honey. Let's not do that again. Oh, she's going to kick my ass. <laughs> but, oh, <man>. that's, but. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> Probably my favorite, my favorite uh, impression you've done. Stripper DJ is kind of the same thing, though. Yeah, I like this one more. Yeah, you, stripper DJ, you got to rhyme. That's all. Yeah. Say things like, "Come on, guys, a little more tipping for the strip, and the more you give, the more they take off." Hey, Candy, you're on the stage. Bambi, you're on champagne. Come on, guys, give them what they got. Man, why don't you do some drops for us? <laughs> I don't know. Does this I, I don't know how it comes through on this mic. I need to listen to our show once in a while. Yeah, you should probably do it. I I've, I listened to the first few, and then I got pissed that I couldn't hear myself. Dick. I'm like, God, who's this boxman guy I can't hear? Oh, shit, it's me. Dick. <laughs> yeah, so. No, I'm just kidding, man. I, I I don't listen to our own episodes for the most part, because I mean, we, we already talked ourselves, so it's like... Yeah, but I should listen just to see how they come through. Let's see. Yeah. I mean, I, I listen to it for the most part. At least I listen to like a half hour a week. Sometimes I'll, I listen to the whole show if I'm like doing something on the road or whatever. But Yeah, I guess I should do some drops for us. Yeah? I guess I could. I should do the road dog gimmick. You should do the road dog gimmick. There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, the Hot Tag Podcast proudly brings to you the greatest wrestling podcast in the world. How's that? Woo! <laughs> That's the only impression I can do. <laughs> Woo!
Yeah, I ain't lying, dude. My friends literally would give me a six pack of beer, a dime bag of weed, and just fucking let me go. They would, bet they, did. they would just start rattling off people and would try to do the impression. And if I could, I could. If I couldn't, I couldn't. Can you hear this dog? The dog purring again? Yeah, he just jumped on the sofa. Nice. My dog is... See if you can see this guy. Can you see him? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he wants to go poop. Oh, <laughs> this fat guy! Just poop on Shaheen, puppy. No, don't do that. See now, now we can now we can put hashtag cute pug in there and get a million and a half views. <laughs> we will. That's brilliant, huh? I have to try to get my dog in here. Yeah, there you go, man. I'd have to go. Then you can hashtag Boston Terrier in there too. Well, we could do both because he's half pug. Well, you know what? If you saw his teeth, you would know. Look, magic. Oh, double pug. Oh, we got a puggle now. Now we can put puggle in there also. <laughs> that dog got the, I got to say, that dog's got an adorable face. Dude. Yeah, she's a cutie. <laughs> she's a good girl. Um, say hi to the Hot Tag Podcast, Layla. There you go. I can't believe we're talking about dogs. <laughs> hey, man, it's almost Christmas, man. We all have a heart, you know? There you go. Even though we're always, you guys always call me Mean Sheen and all that. I have, I have a good Christmas spirit going on. I have a new Mac today. I'm happy. It's, it's well worth the money. Bought yourself a little Christmas present. Hey, well, actually, I didn't I didn't buy it. My stepfather bought it. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it was a Christmas present then. It was a Christmas present. But uh, I've, I put some money towards it. But I literally have not bought one Christmas present yet. Well, I have been too guided. Probably do that sometime soon. I like going on Christmas Eve. It really narrows down the selection. <laughs> you know, you sit there going, God, what am I going to get? You go, well, let's see what's left. <laughs> All right, we got socks and underwear. Everybody's getting socks and underwear, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I, 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 I'd be happy with that, actually. But anyway. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I, I've, I mean, I've gone shopping with my family, but I haven't actually gone myself. So I probably need to do that tomorrow. Well, is there anything else that you want to talk about before I get out of here and walk these little guys? Um, I don't think so. I think there is nothing. I've almost done three and a half hours. When we we've really stretched it for about two and a half hours, dude. We only had about an hour worth of Raw to talk about, if that. We really probably could have cut this show. <laughs> we could have cut it at 9 o'clock and been done. But I don't know, man. I I, I had a damn good time. I don't care. Yeah. I, I think we did some good stuff right there. Yeah, I have definitely enjoyed myself as usual. And uh, to everybody, happy Hanukkah, Merry Christmas, whatever you celebrate. Uh, I forgot Boxman is Jewish, so happy Hanukkah to you. Thank you. And uh, Merry Christmas to everybody else or whatever else you celebrate, folks. Uh, join us on Facebook, facebook.com slash groups slash THT podcast, uh, hot tag podcast.weebly.com, on Twitter, THT podcast, on iTunes. Please go ahead and subscribe. Leave a review. Jesus, folks, leave a review. Even my dog is asking you to leave a review. Leave a <laughs> review on there iTunes, it's THT Wrestling Podcast. And uh, YouTube, of course, if you're watching, you already know, but if you're listening on iTunes and you want to check out the video, go ahead on YouTube, Turnbuckle Corner, and uh, check us out. Yeah, and want to remind you once again, we've made listening easier than ever. All you have to do is click our website now. Uh, when we're live, it will pull right up. You don't have to download anything. You don't have to click, literally click anything except um, just go to Listen Live, the Listen Live tab on our website, and you will be connected. Yes. If, Can't uh, get much easier than that. No. I, 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 I just thought it would be the easiest way, and um, 
this was probably not the best week to see how many listeners we get because there's probably a lot of busy people tonight and tomorrow. And but uh, we'll get it. Yeah, we'll check it out. So right. on on behalf of me and mine, my dogs over here. This has got to be the chillest dog ever. Do you see this thing, dude? I'm I, I, that dog is awesome, dude. Is that oh, that, just that little hanging pup. out, just quiet. Jeez. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love this thing. Gotcha. But, uh, yeah. On behalf of us, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and join us next week again. If I don't know, are we doing a show next week? Yeah, it'll be. Um, Hold on. When is New Year's? New Year's. Um, New Year's is when it goes from one year to the next year. Oh, really? Thanks, dude. <laughs> really? Uh, Jesus, it'll, it'll be the thirtieth, so it's New Year's Eve, Eve, just like this is Christmas Eve, Eve. So yeah, we'll do one next week. Um, All right, cool. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, there might not be much to talk about again. So I'll tell you what. Just uh, keep your eyes on Facebook, people. Um, we didn't even advertise this show, and it's we've got it. Uh, we're doing fine. So I forgot to set up the event. Shit happens. Shit happens when you're busy. And, uh, Shit happens, dude. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. That's it. Like, uh, like Shaheen said, happy holidays, Merry Christmas, uh, happy Kwanzaa, uh, happy Festivus. One more thing. What? By the way, we did not forget Devin Moore. We, uh, we actually couldn't make it tonight because he was running late on shopping, and we weren't really comfortable with the setup, trying a new setup and having him on the show. So we're going to have him next week. Yeah, definitely. The next week or the week after that, we're going to figure it out. But he is still coming. We just didn't want to mess it up on the first guest with a new setup and, you know, get all messed up. But, yeah. With the holidays, it's kind of tough anyway, so. Yeah, I'm sure. There you go, man. Well, glad you guys uh, joined us and join us next week again. Tuesday, we'll be back right here where you're listening now. Go ahead and subscribe everywhere. Please share it. Like it. Leave a comment. The more... uh, interactive you guys are, the more it helps us out. Again, we never ask for money. We don't want that. Just share it. That's share right. It. But we'll take your ears. You well, can keep your money. I don't want your money. I need your ears. All right. I'll take the money. He wants the money. I need your ears. That's all I want. It'll go to the to, to something. Yeah. Well, we'll, I don't send us money. It'll just go we'll, to the- we'll wait a couple years and once once we get like really Really get out there. Yeah, right now the money's just going to my weed, so don't send it to me. Yeah, well, don't send it to this guy then. Don't send it to this guy. <laughs> not send it to this guy. This guy's uh, a dick. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, just share it and like it, and then, yeah, go ahead. All right. That's it, folks. We're going to hit it. We're out. Pack around, man. Time to kick back, take some business, smoke some weed. This guy is crazy. Have a good one, folks.